we live? Are we live? Are we live? Seems good. Zaxon, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, so we just got our first space elevator, though I haven't actually built it in our actual game. Uh, and I thought I would do a little experiment over here without having to pay the resources and time up front to see if my idea is going to work. Um, to work around LTN. So, we've got our... I also need to make a blueprint for the, uh, space rail version of this thing. Um, so let's do that. Whoops. Uh, let's turn to editor mode. And... I basically just want to swap all of this for space rail and get rid of the wind turbines. Uh, and we do have a tool for that, though we have to go out of the game for a sec. Uh, let's see. Gordon Freeman? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Fraser K, good to see you again also. Welcome, welcome. I think I saw a mod that makes Space Elevator work with LTN. Yeah, I'm curious if I can make this work smoothly, though. Don't think I've been on time to your stream, unfortunately. Uh, well, you are today. Unless you count missing, like, 30 seconds of it, maybe? Um, let me see if I can find... Uh, the tool. I don't actually remember where it is. Here we go. Alright, so... This one swaps rail for space rail. Fantastic. Um, I'll need to input... Blueprint. Let's export this to string. Paste this in here, and is that it? Import string. Beautiful. Uh, now I just have to put it in the right spot. Um, I think if I give it to the same snap to. Um, it should work out. Yep. Alright. Let's put that in with this blueprint. Elevator with space rail. And I have to jump out of editor mode for this to work. Cool. Looks good. Um, can we not just editor mode and then... Navsat can't be opened in editor. Okay, so I can't, like... Can I go to Navis Orbit like this? No. Alright then. Can I ride it? The elevator is not fully constructed. It needs... Uh... 1138 parts? Is that the cables? Uh, it is indeed. And it's obviously gonna need some power. Um, I can't exactly give it speed modules. So let's just speed up time instead. Okay, and then back to normal, 
and then write the elevator, and then editor mode, and that that's looking pretty good to me. Except for the part where all of this stuff is almost in the way. Alright, so let's put some kind of rail block up here. Um, where's my blueprint for flat solar? Here it is. Alright, let's just put this over here. Let's try that again. Flat solar panels. Why are we still missing the stations? And it doesn't have the scaffolding that they need. Does this blueprint include that? It looks like it does. Oh, regardless, that should just about do it. Um, so this station is we're requesting what exactly? Uh, I guess I didn't really need to make this station for an example. Uh, what I'm going to have around the space elevator is some... Vanilla requester stations that act as suppliers to LTN. The hose, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I might have to build a block for this as well. Um, not really sure what I want to do with it. So the part where we have a vanilla station as a drop-off is easy enough. The part where we have a station as a supplier for LTN is easy enough. Putting them together shouldn't be too difficult? Question mark? Whoops. Larius, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, so this actually won't be an LTN train stop unless... Do I dare try setting it up so that one station by itself acts as both requester and provider? I think I could do it that way. Um, it's just that the bulk loaders or unloaders wouldn't be usable for that. Hmm. Can I use loaders if a train is just parked at the station? Let's see. Has to be a space one. Let's put some stuff in here. It looks like the answer is no. I'm not exactly surprised. So I'd have to do insert a shenanigans if I want a single train stop to double as requester and supplier. Which leaves us open to all sorts of problems with uh, if the inserters ever over insert. We're going to end up with stock trains. So I think I'd prefer to do a pair of stations, but then the question is, can I do a good layout? In our rail blocks. Let's just put as much scaffolding as we need for now. Um, so I'd kind of like it to be something like this, but I don't think that's going to work out over here. Hmm. 
It almost does, but the signals are complaining, and we can't quite fit that over there. Mm. Are we actually one tile off this fitting exactly the way I'd like it to? I think so. That's the middle, right? Can't really see properly. Okay, so one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. That is the middle. Hmm. Oops. Uh, tail ghosts. Nope. I actually just want to get rid of the tiles. Hmm. I can't believe we're one signal slot off this fitting perfectly. I don't suppose we could get away with this, can we? Let's have a look. Could you please park in here? That actually looks fine. Except we're not going to be able to have signals... Um... Oh? Does that actually work? No, it's like sticking out through here. So I wouldn't be able to have a train dropping off and picking up at the same time. Maybe that's fine. And same thing on this side. We'd be able to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different solid storages in one train block. I could probably do a liquid storage for each pair as well. Although, we wouldn't be able to have the super quick uh, loading and unloading of the fluids. Not Steel Mage, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So, I think... I, I could make this a LTN stop, but there's no reason to. Except maybe I don't have regular train stops on me most of the time. Uh, but those can be vanilla stops. It did fit, look at the signals before it. Do you mean this did? The wagon doesn't quite... Well, okay, how about we test it this way? I'm probably going to do it this way regardless, but... Let's put our wagon in here. And then... See if we can put another one in here. Uh, wow. Okay. So, mousing over the train stop kind of lied. It looks like the train doesn't fit if we point here. Um, let me just check like this as well. In you go, and you're not able to get through there. That part makes sense. Um, could you please park yourself here for a sec? So you can go in there, and then you can go in there, but not the other way around. I can live with that, though, because there's not going to be a good way to... Mm hmm? I maybe stand corrected here. Uh, except then I wouldn't be able to signal this. Okay, what if... What if it was something like this? Mm. 
No, but the signal, if we do this over here, the signal pairing doesn't let the train through this way. Um, I could always turn the corner like that, but like... Well, let's see how it shapes up, actually. Yeah, no, I don't think that's going to be any good. Let's go back to what we had. So we can have two in here only if the pickup one goes in first. It's probably fine. Is there a way to show the character logistic range? Character logistic range? Um, I'm pretty sure it's only the... Um... Hold on. I'm pretty sure it's only... Uh, the stationary buildings that actually have logistic range. What goes into these? Uh, right click. Charged Singularity Fuel Cell. Cool. Think this is enough power for some Roboports? Um, you can see the character's building range, but he doesn't actually have a logistic range. Like, how far can construction bots reach? Yeah, if you select a deconstruction planner, um, you can actually see that range like that. Or you can go to the map and switch on... Logistic networks. Just grab a decon planner. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Um, so how many tiles do we have here? Two. That's actually kind of perfect. Let's remove the train. That's weird how that bumped backward. Uh, if we use space loaders, here we're counting on the fact that the train is going to drop off evenly and the pickup is going to take from it evenly. I think what I'd like to do instead is push it all this way. And this way. And that'll be 90 per second items that can get pushed from the back cargo wagon to the front. Which means we can have short or long trains pick this stuff up. Um, so let's make a provider station here. Short trains, long trains, and I won't do a condition over here. Instead, I'll just make absolutely sure that there's like a whole extra cargo wagon of stuff um, before the train comes to pick anything up. I could make it go in a circle, I guess, to make absolutely sure. I'll try this. As for fluids, um, I'd love to combine these stops so that we could have fluids as well. Maybe with some large storage tanks? 
Uh, I need editor mode to get all this stuff free in the most easy way possible. Let's see, if we were to have pumps like this, we could get the quickest possible output. And we could pump it all over here. I need some space pipe. Uh, I need some pumps. More space pipe. Uh, about like that. So that'll give us, uh, what is it? I think one, I think two train loads, uh, four train loads worth of storage here, actually. Uh, let's see. I think it's 50k that goes into each of these. Yeah, 50k. So that's two wagons. Two, four, six, eight wagons. Uh, so four train loads. That short pipe range, right? Uh, and I would like all of this to be, oh wow, connected. Um, we could put some extra storage here. Oh, that kind of fits together well, actually. But we wouldn't necessarily have the optimum fluid loading speed. Uh, when the train comes back. How about like this? Oh, that's not lined up properly. Uh, whoops. How did I miss that? Wait, what? This one looks like it's lined up properly. Oh, it's just the pump is in the wrong spot. Cool. That's fine. Um, let's do a substation right about here. Perfect. Um, but yeah, I'm thinking for the sake of train loading speed, we maybe just do it like this. We can have uh, eight, 16 train loads worth of stuff stored here for solid items. Uh, and then we just do some kind of requester station, but vanilla. What's the color here? 155255. Vanilla requester. Check the bottom station for liquid train. It might be a problem with unloading from curved rail. Um, that's true. Let's find out. Need a couple of fluid wagons. And please go here until cargo full. And then come over here. Oh, no. You're absolutely right. I could put them over here, but, like... Then how do we do the... Solid items? I mean, it's not going to be difficult, it's just not going to be neat. On the plus side, we could have one huge storage tank for the pickup. It's also kind of a bit more clear, I guess. Um, this could go through here as well. Might be a little bit neater.
Oh, there's something in the way? Wait, what? Oh, it was the loader from before. I definitely like that for both capacity and being able to quick load the fluids. Um, but then we've only got 45 items per second being pushed to the front. Unless... I don't know, something like this. I don't love the look of that. We're also... We can still get double belt there, that's fine. That just leaves the aesthetic. That's too far for an underground. Bruh. How about like this? Is this just worse than the original idea? It's kind of neat. And then we could still have our substation right here. That's pretty tidy. Does that fix the curved rail problem? I'm 97% sure it does. So we go here, we wait till... Well, we just go here. Yep. That'll do. Let's test it. So, just for argument's sake, let's do green circuits. Um, we'll just call this green circuit requester. I think it should have a different name. Naming convention. Um, how about green circuit, requester, uh, and vanilla stop? That should do it. Wait, can I make a station drop off both fluids and... I don't think I can. I can't see a way to schedule the trains to do both... Uh, to do green circuits and don't come if green circuits are full. And to bring water and don't come if water is full. Because the only options we have for controlling it is train limit or disabling the station. Vanilla train's stinky. Um, I could always have, like, a pair of vanilla stations here, I guess. Except, where are the pumps gonna fit? Okay, well, I might discard the solids and fluids idea for this, but let's try the green circuits. So what I want on the ground... Uh, don't view opposite end, I need to travel through it. The second loader doesn't fill, it has regular rail. Uh, the regular rail is just a graphical thing. It's not something I can change. Alright. So, down here we're going to have a station. Uh, I'll just take it off the roundabout. 
take it easy. And we're gonna have a LTN provider station. We're gonna have a bunch of green circuits. Um, and actually, I will make some containers for this. Oh, how about one container? Because I want to demonstrate something. That's a little bit annoying. How about this then? Just do a pair of them, whatever. So we're going to have electronic circuits coming out here. And... Sure, space rail, why not? Uh, give me some belt. Split. Reload. Uh, we stop for the moment. We set a provide stack threshold, double the usual amount. So a train, uh, an LTN train won't come and pick this up until there's two train loads of green circuits. And let's throw down a depot for long trains. Uh, Let's throw down a depot for long trains. Fantastic. Throw in some super trains. Probably only need one, maybe two. Uh, and I'm going to have a station for destroying green circuits as well. It's just going to be a LTN requester station. Alright. So here we're just gonna... Why can't I... There we go. Gonna request green circuits until the end of time. Um, and I haven't actually set up. Yeah, no, this is fine. Let's just do this for now. That's a lot of text, LTN. I don't really need all of that. Uh, where's the LTN settings? Detailed messages... no thank you. Okay. So, uh, now we put green circuits through here. Maybe a little bit faster than that, in fact. And basically, we gotta have what was it? Two whole train loads, uh, 160 stacks. We have to have 32k green circuits before our train will come and pick this stuff up. Where are my cables? Meanwhile, we make a vanilla depot. I'll just make a little one for testing sake. Or I could steal one of these, I guess. How am I going to do the vanilla trains? Huh. 
The vanilla trains don't like to sit in depots. They want to... They want to go somewhere all the time. So if there's three whole stops in the schedule, they'll go back to the other stop. Kind of a pain, to be honest. I could try building it in such a way that... No, that doesn't really work. I could swap these around to make this the drop-off and this the pickup, And I could have the vanilla train sit here most of the time. They can do depots if you can, uh, if you control if a station has a limit. Yes and no. Not the way I want to set it up. The thing I don't like about this idea is, well, it's actually every way I can come up with, actually. The train's going to take two trips through the space elevator every time it brings something through it, which is going to cost more material. Hmm. The trouble with the vanilla trains is if I give them a schedule that's like go to depot, go to pickup, go to drop off and we set it up so that pickup has a train limit of zero unless it's got uh, 16,000 green circuits for example then it'll just go to the drop off instead for no reason It doesn't wait at the station, it skips the station. Uh, I didn't realize vanilla trains would be such a pain. Well, regardless, we can at least test the idea that... Um, vanilla train. So that's a cargo. So this is green circuit request thing. Go here until empty cargo. And then we've got, I didn't actually name that station downstairs yet. see. Green circuit provider. But for vanilla stations as well. Should probably just leave it called green circuit pickup. Because I'm going to patch some of our regular stations to be able to do this. Oops. Okay. Did my... That's weird. Uh, so go to... Can I not add a station that's not on this surface? I thought the whole point of the space elevator was so that it could go through, but apparently we need to go to the space elevator as a stop. Okay, that changes things. Uh, it would probably help if we could reach the space elevator. Apparently I'm in NAVSAT mode. That's probably why my the indicator for my player character was drifting away like that. Okay, so what the hell? Oh, I sent it here and nowhere else. 
Um, what? What? Huh? I, I don't know. It's on manual still already. Wait, did it like eat the front of the train? Is it down here somewhere? Okay, so... So the front of the train is down here, and the top of it is up here, and it doesn't know what to do? I can't give it... I can't give it this station to go to. What? The head of the train has the schedule, yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay. Um, apparently we have it going in circles. That's an accomplishment. So do I have to arbitrarily drive one through the space elevator just to give it the schedule stops that are on both sides of... Could you sit still for one moment, please? Okay. Stop, 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 stop. No. Okay, we're going to slow down time. Stop. So apparently now I'll be able to give it the schedule that we need to give it? Hmm. I could of course put some train stops on the surface with that station name temporarily. Okay, so pick up green circuits, go up. Drop off green circuits, go down. Alright. Oh, and this should have, like, a uh, train stop. Uh, let's see. I need a freaking decider combinator just for the basics over here. Mm, just put it here. Okay, if green circuit's greater than uh, 16k, output train limit 1, set train limit, and how many do we have right now? 48k. Oh, that's fast. You can select in menu to right, just select a different surface. Really? Menu to right. Oh, okay. On the left. As in T double O. Okay. Well, that shouldn't be as difficult. Um, now, how do I get the vanilla trains to behave, though? Does LTN screensaver... Is it going to be unable to follow the trains? I guess so. Why does it keep saying destination... F oh, no. I think I'd better have some parking spots on either side of the elevator for our vanilla trains. Need to set a condition on the train? Or where do you mean? Anyway, the thing I wanted to check as well... Did we stop this train for a sec? Or significantly longer than that. 
Wow, that's fast. Okay. Uh, okay, that's not quite what I meant, but this works, I guess. Oh. Okay. Um. Oh, it has no path, that's why. I just want to test that our LTN trains can do their thing from the same stop. So that's looking like the easy part. Why is... Oh, this is a... Hmm. Could you just, like, allow green circuits? Nope. I guess I have to replace it with a regular cargo wagon. Get a regular cargo wagon, please. Nope. Editor mode, that's what I meant to do. Do we still have the schedule? Shockingly, yes. Where's that other one? Here it is. this one as well. Should probably put some more inserters over here. Train is full, isn't it? Yep. That's what I meant to do. Now it's not loading? What? is going on here? Huh? Destination full. I don't understand. Oh, it's looking for 32k. Why is it looking for 32k? It can't fit that much. Probably because it had the infinity cargo wagons before it was scheduled. Okay. Right then. So currently we have 30k. LTN's uh, trains are not doing their thing. Once it's 32, we should see a schedule generated. Any second now. There we go. And that'll take green circuits to wherever on the same surface to be consumed. Meanwhile, our vanilla train uh, is able to come here and get green circuits anytime that we've got 16k. That part should be fine. Uh, so really the tricky part is... figuring out how to make vanilla trains to behave, honestly. Train is trying to drive? What do you mean by that? Yeah, so we obviously don't want trains stopping and starting around the space elevator. There shouldn't be a problem on this end, uh, where they on the end where they're delivering. <laughs> okay. Um, because it's not like the, it's not like we're gonna. I guess another train could arrive here. But no, I'm just going to do train limit of one in the event that we have less than X um, green circuits at our storage place.
do it like this. Uh, if green circuits less than something, I don't know. How many train loads is that? Right. Uh, eighty times two hundred is sixteen k. Uh, yeah, we could do one twenty eight k. That's the max that would fit in here. Drop it down a little bit. Ninety six k. Uh, and that's going to be L1. If we want more throughput, we should probably do more stations so that traffic isn't as much of an issue. Isn't there a mod for LTN space elevator compatibility? Yeah, but I wanted to see if I could do it this way. Should put that in the FAQ. Mizuzi? Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, okay, so where's our train? Here it is. Wait, why did it do a little stop-start even if it's just coming over here? I'm not going to be able to follow it after it goes through here, am I? Nope. Uh, I hate the editor not letting us change surfaces. Easily. Why is it like this? We've got well more than enough um, green circuits in here. train limit isn't changing, right? Yeah, I can see the train stopping and starting, but our train limit isn't changing. It says destination full on and off? I think we definitely need something like a depot for them to go to immediately after the space elevator. That destination full behavior is odd, right? Is it stuttering every time a train section is teleported? Uh, let's see if it does it four times. I think... Not quite? It looked like it at first, but then the end was a bit different. Hmm. Okay, could I fit some train stops somewhat elegantly? The limit on the station is screwing with it coming out of the elevator? I don't know. We could find out. Train limit 10. Train limit 1000. It's either 1000 or 0. And it's only going to be zero if there's not one trainload of stuff to pick up here. Here it comes. Yep, it is the train limit that's messing it up. I, I'm guessing the train technically gets chopped up into at least two pieces. So it's actually, like, technically two trains uh, for moments at a time. Uh, even so, I think I would want to have a stop that it goes for directly after the space elevator, regardless. I could literally just put that stop right here, I suppose. 
and uh, give me some vanilla train stops. So we're doing space elevator. Out. Can I can I do that down symbol somehow? How do I how do I get that character? I don't know. That'll work. It's kind of hard to see though. You can swap surface in the editor menu. I think it's the top right tab. Top right tab surfaces. Oh, here it is. Fantastic. It's not exactly smooth, but it works. Uh, but yeah, let's just say. Spillivator out, down, and our train, if we can ever find it, it's saying destination full. Why is it saying destination full? There's almost 32k circuits here. Oh, because this is input count, that's fine. Okay, so we're going to add a stop. Right after it goes through the space elevator. It's going to come to this stop that has no train limit. Maybe I need to put it further ahead so that the whole train comes through. Yeah, I think so. I could probably just put... I was going to say I could put them on either side so the trains could go either way, but they're just going to go to the closer one. Right next to the delete everything on surface button, nothing bad has ever happened because of that. Yeah, I'm sure. Uh, I think I'm going to just have to not have two ways out for them here. Or more than that. So it should come out smoothly next time. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. And we'll have to have something similar upstairs. Why am I dying? Don't I have life support? I do. Oh, this is a uh, power armor. There we go. Anyway, give me some scaffolding. And a vanilla train stop. And this will be called Out Up. Or I guess they could share the same name. Probably isn't actually a problem. Maybe. Let's find out. Okay, I need you to stop for a sec so I can mess with your schedule. Um, now this up. Elevate it out. There we go. Alright, continue. And I'm sure it's going to disappear now. There we go. Uh, so clunky. Alright, that's looking pretty good. Um... I'm obviously gonna wanna have I'm I'm gonna wanna change the design of this a bit, since there's absolutely no point in having these two directions to get out. 
Um, and the other problem is how I'm going to have, how on earth I'm going to have um, vanilla trains sitting still. Ow! Okay. Maybe I should put some super shields on. Where's my corpse? Uh, super shields. Where are you? There you go. I'm sure that'll be enough. Uh, apparently I have no... No energy. Let's get some cheat energy in here. I think that'll do it. Let's find out. If you have a stop, then limit the... There we go. Burgers and fries, thank you for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. How's your stream today? Alright, so... How do we change this? I still want it to be pretty much dead center in the middle middle of a rail block for the look of it. Um, I don't think there's anything really wrong with the inputs at all. But... As for the output... I kind of want a few of these in series. Sorry, in parallel. Pretty sure a train will wait at a station if its next stop is full. Uh, does it not skip it? I thought it skipped it. It's just gonna. Let's just turn off the train limit for this one. Oh, okay. That works. And I bet if I disable the station, it does skip it. Okay. That won't be as hard as I feared. Now, I tried to make this fit before, so I'm not terribly optimistic about it. Let's get you out of the way for now. Um, in the same rail block, having a bunch of stations in parallel to park the vanilla trains before they go back to a roundabout is what I would like to do. How goes T-Hex? Not too bad. Thanks, Burgers. Hmm. How long are our trains? One, two, three, four. Not that long. Let's put some signals here. Be able to put one up there. This one lines up perfectly. You could probably work some logic using the radar dishes. Yeah, I was considering that. I don't know if you can send a signal through like this. Maybe? Probably? I hope. Uh, do I not have... Oh, I guess the blueprint that I made didn't include the scaffolding that we need. For the power poles. Anyway. Uh, pylon. Go. Oh. And ride the elevator down. Wait, what? 
Oh, I can ride the elevator in editor mode. I didn't realize I could. Okay. Uh, constant combinator. And... Yeah, we can send information through it this way. I don't love the idea of having to send signals through power poles everywhere, though. We'll see. Finally got my Vulcanite planet operating. Not at large capacity. All caveats. But still 10k a minute for 15 minutes is solid. Nice. Um, so if I put these stations here, we can get onto a roundabout. Not like that, unfortunately. I actually can't get any closer to the space elevator than this. If we're having them turn around that way. What? Not enough rail? So this is editor mode. I guess I could fit one here. Huh? Wait, why is that further up? Oh, I see. So maybe like that. We could have up to six trains. Probably better if I just put a depot for the vanilla trains near the space elevator. Um, on the other hand, I kind of forgot that I could rely on the fact that they can go both directions. even need that. Excuse me. So I could do a whopping eight vanilla trains this way. If I were to mirror the whole thing. Actually, I'm not sure how that well that would work. I think I'd rather make a separate rail block for... Uh, the vanilla, vanilla train depot, basically. What made that train start moving again? Oh, it probably because it skipped going to this station. Okay. Um, in that case, let's go back to our original design. And I'll make a depot block for the vanilla trains. Which, um, I guess is going to look a lot like this. Andy Gaming, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. 
Except instead of having any vanilla uh, LTN train stops over here. I mean, I could use LTN train stops, but just to make it a bit more clear. I think we'll use vanilla ones. I kind of want to give them a different color, like uh, maybe the color of storage chests. Um, to show this is a depot for vanilla trains. That's not bad. Good, how about yourself? Not too bad. We don't need to give them any circuitry, right? Um, station name could be... Definitely not Depot 2, like that. I want something to. I could call it Vanilla Train Stop Depot 2. Simple. And we're not going to need all that red wire. All the other stops can probably be the same. I'll worry about updating it to use the battery version later. Oh, this is the old crappy version. Didn't I make a version that had... Um... Maybe I updated it to use the batteries when I did that. No, I don't think I made a uh, double length version for this. Okay. Which means I'll have to move all those inserters. Would it be possible to set a resource depot using vanilla stations active only when said resource less than x value and pick up using LTN station? Uh, it sounds like a backward description of what I am doing, where we're using an LTN train stop uh, to provide for both vanilla and regular trains, uh, and LTN trains. So basically, we're going to prioritize, um, well, I could do it either way around. Um, I could prioritize vanilla trains, or I could prioritize LTN trains. Um, but since I don't want, should work either way, actually. Um... Basically, I don't want LTN trains being scheduled to come here when we've only got a certain amount uh, and we've got an, a vanilla train on the way. So the uh, provide stack threshold is twice as high. We wait for two train loads of stuff. Um, and if there's a vanilla train on the way, the train limit is one. So as far as LTN con is concerned, it's only one train load of stuff that's ever going to disappear unaccounted for over here. Looking forward to your solution for this elevator challenge. It's a head scratcher. Yeah, a little bit. Um, I think I might have it already. We're going to flesh it out and find out. But first... Well, for the sake of testing, I'm just going to use this lot. Let's drop off some fuel over here. And... 
vanilla train stops. It's weird how they don't need any signaling. Okay. Um. Hmm. I kind of need them to have no train limit. We're not actually going to have two trains trying to park at the same spot, right? I think. Alright, where's our train? Doesn't that line up? I think it's in space. Oh, here it is. Destination full. Um, so I want it to go to a space elevator, then the outstop. No, we're going to get rid of the outstops. And after going to Space Elevator, we are going to... What is this station called again? Uh, Vanilla Depot, basically. Why can't I add it? It's very annoying. Apparently I can add it this way. Uh, wait for inactivity. And I need to add that same station. Could we put it here first? Fantastic. So then if the next stop... Wait, wait, wait. Stop, stop, stop. So now it's down. Go to depot and then go to green circuit pickup. After you've got fuel. Seems good. I guess there's only... We only need to have a depot on one side for the upbound and for the downbound stuff. Because it's... The point at which it's going to wait is when we don't have... No, that's not quite right. We could have it wait until we've got resources to pick up, and on the other end, we could have it wait until uh, somewhere needs a drop-off, I guess. But I think I'd rather have it just drop off here and leave it to LTN, instead of having vanilla trains sitting in the depots as well up here. Alright, so you are waiting for inactivity and waiting for train limit uh, to be greater than zero over here. Why do we have no power? Probably because this. Uh, so train limit one. And then up the elevator you go. I kind of go through it. It says I'm too far... Oh, it's the navsat, isn't it? Fantastic. Hmm. I should probably set the... train limit for these higher. So if we say train limit 2, I bet 2 is the magic number because because I, I think the train gets cut into two pieces. Alright, so it's going to go pick up green circuits, 
It's going to go through the spell evader. And it's going to be trying to... Could you let me through? Really? Okay, it looks like that went through smoothly, but I didn't see it. Uh, I think we can do this same layout up here. And allow it to leave by either of t two directions, or two roundabouts. As long as the destination station has a train, lim train limit greater than one, is probably what it takes. Nope. Destination full. I guess I need to set this higher. I might set it to... If green circuits in the drop-off are empty. Completely empty, then allow up to eight trains. Hopefully that's enough to prevent the stuttering. It looks like it is. Uh, and it should be enough to prevent overfilling this as well. And up it comes. I crave oats. Intelligence. Acid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. It could always just wait at drop-off until empty. Um, it will do that. Alright, cool. So the only other thing is... I don't think I can pack a solid and fluid drop-off into the same place. Why is it only coming with a little bit of green circuit? Oh, that's why. Wait until full cargo... Wait until empty cargo... What happens when the drop-off station is saturated? Uh... Trains won't be scheduled here. So... Well, let me think it about it. So this thing's going to have a train limit of zero if this train is coming with a... F hmm. Yeah, it's going to be stuck up here, isn't it? So I guess I do have to have depots on either side. Right? Where's our train? Alright, so add station... Right after... Spellivator. Alright, let's start from the top. Pick up... Pick up, elevator up, depot, drop off, elevator down, depot. Full cargo, no wait condition, five seconds, full empty cargo, no wait condition, five seconds. And where are we now? We're currently not picking up green circuits because there isn't 16k. Good morning, Stefan, aka Woody. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And then it's going to go up the elevator. And go to the depot. And not drop anything off. Because we've still got some green circuits in here. It's actually still loading this. Yeah, I think that's it. We just have to make sure we have enough depot stops. 
and maybe come up with a better layout for the storage on either side. All right. Storage block time. The drop off could just be the depot if you remove the limit. Unless you plan on having more than one train per drop off. Uh, some resources we might end up wanting more than one train, yeah. Okay. So, I would imagine the first thing we do is have some rail like this, but maybe that's not quite right. Hmm. Don't tell me that fits well. Only if we're going one specific direction. Perhaps. How many could we fit here? This train station goes on the same side. Uh, we could do... So it's going to be a vanilla drop-off and an LTN pickup, right? One, two, three, four. We could definitely fit two of these. Uh, I couldn't use bulk rail unloaders for this, though. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, they're slightly wider. Literally one tile wider than I need them to be for this. So unless we want to use inserters. Like some kind of vanilla players. And then we could have bulk rail loaders, like that. What's gonna what's gonna become of all of this space in the middle? Uh, very little, I imagine. Yeah, I don't think I like this all that much. Unless. It depends how much more we can fit by doing this. Looks about right. This would all have to be one direction as well. Probably make this one direction. Put some signals back here, I think. Nope, doesn't quite fit that right. Uh, actually, it does. Surprisingly enough. Does that actually let us have two trains? Are you able to park here? Yes, you are. Okay. I might even go with this. So 
So then another set of these over here. Assuming this will work, which it looks like it will. And this needs to go... Oh, you're kidding. We're going to be one-off. I could put them closer together if I don't mind the drop-off blocking the pickup. I mean, no, the uh, the one pickup blocking off the other pickup. The drop-off could be... Oh yeah, we read that. Okay. Also, I guess if I rotate it over this way, they're going to be encroaching in each other's space. It's not going to be that good. How would this look so far? Pretty good, actually. I just don't feel great about the space in the middle that we're not using. I also don't love the need for inserters. I think we came up with something better already so far. Hmm. Except I probably want to swap it around. So this would be the pickup. And drop off like this. I'll just check that lines up the same way. What? Oh, it's a nav set, isn't it? Seems good. Whoops. Well, the fact that we can't do fluids at the same stop uh, sort of makes it a lot simpler, I guess. It's really going to be as simple as that? Is it not? Oh, I see. And we'll double check that our trains can go in there. Hello? Just 
like that. With the signals. Cool. God damn it. Okay, that goes here, that goes here, and that appears to be connected. Fantastic. Did it again. Okay, uh, and we're obviously going to mirror this. So if we do this four times, does it work out? Uh, kind of no, actually. Should have known it wouldn't be that easy. So basically the signals are in the way. But if we don't use them... Because I can't put a signal here. So this whole quarter would have to be one train at a time. Hmm... Surely there's a better way to fit a whole bunch of these neatly into a block. Oh, I know. How about... You know what, just give me a block back. How about a bunch of single directional ones? Like what I was looking at before, but a bit neater, perhaps. Let's put our first station over here. That'll actually be vanilla drop-off. And then LTN pickup over here somewhere. I'm not convinced it's a bad thing if they're in the same rail signal block. So how close together could we put them? If we use loaders, that is. Pretty close. Kinda close. So drop off here, pick up over here. Just push it all to the front. Limit the front cargo wagon to 40 stacks. That's neat enough. And if we were to do that as many times as possible... Um, could we maybe just fit a corner? Let's get the tightest rail corner we can. That might actually work. Some of the signaling over here might not be great. It doesn't have to be perfect. This is facing the wrong way, what the hell. Oh, I can't get a signal in here? That's a little bit annoying. 
How many could I fit if I put them as close together as possible? Quite a lot, actually. That's in the wrong spot. Maybe we just get rid of the one up the top for the sake of the other ones being neat and compact. What? Oh, wow. Apparently that's too close together just because signals. Maybe not. So, like this. Um, I think we're going to be able to fit enough that we could actually have traffic problems. So we'll probably just spread it out a bit more. Oh no, can you live with that signal being wrong? Nope. Next question. So if we didn't have this over here... And if this went down like so, could we fit... Oh, you're joking. You must be kidding. It can't actually be one pair of tiles off being able to fit like this. That's too cruel. I'm pretty sure we could fit a signal here. Yeah, that's actually quite good. It's actually very good. But just because rail corners are so huge... Uh, Johan Anderson, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. You know what I could technically do? Um, is put the train stop a couple of tiles back, and I'm pretty sure the bulk rail loaders will still load these. Uh, that makes my soul cry. So JMO, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Heresy. <laughs> what are you designing? An outpost to base train swapper? Uh, yeah, I want um, vanilla trains to be able to drop stuff off and for LTN trains to be able to pick stuff up. Hmm. How many stations is this, though? Fifteen. That's a lot. For one block, that especially for one corner input and one corner output. I'm thinking instead we could... As much as that was nice and neat. Do it much like the first one. It's going to be too close together, actually. Well, actually, I, I guess he could... I don't see how we get two belts of throughput if we did it like this, this close together. We don't necessarily have to do it this close together. Um, underground belt. So if it's going to be continuing in that pattern. Underground belt would have to go here. Yeah, that wouldn't work. The issue with this pickup is the LTN would have to be in there before the vanilla is allowed to come. Yeah. We tried it with a different layout, um, so that you could fit both, and it wasn't looking as good, basically. 
I'm thinking I just put these a couple of tiles down instead. Do what we did before. And that allows plenty of room for signals and such. Um, hold on, doesn't this allow us room to mirror it? Because the train could leave this way. The only trouble is if I put it this close we can't have a signal here. Let's bring it down one tile, or two tiles. Uh, actually, I can move it up another two. Fantastic. And if we were to mirror this, it's probably actually the chain signals is the only thing I have to get rid of there. What the heck is this mess? Okay. That's an unloader, you absolute duff. There we go. Um, so we want vanilla stations for unloading, regular stations for pickup. That's looking pretty good, actually. I'm actually really starting to like this. And then we put these as close as possible, and then I hope, I think, we can fit 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 in the whole rail block with good train throughput. You could put the loader, unloader against each other if you have a 2x2 two two footprint box. I think, uh, are you thinking of how if I put a chest here, it automatically loads into it or unloads? Um, I don't think putting them next to each other works that way. Let's give it some electricity and make sure. Yeah, it's not... There's no yellow, there's no invisible inserters working here. Um, and I almost did that with some belts, but I couldn't quite find a layout that I like. Besides which, um, we can actually do enough with this that the... the train traffic is going to be a bit of an issue, almost. So I think I'm quite happy with eight different resources stored here. should probably be fine. Let's figure out where our power poles are going to go. That seems okay to me. Should be pretty neat on the old map. Fantastic. And I kind of want something other than... Since we're using default red for the provider stations, for LTN, um, I kind of want something a little bit different for the vanilla stops, just so that we can see what's happening here. Very neat. Thank you. Did I put a load on the front? I did not. 
everything else should be fine. Uh, probably just request a blue, actually. For the vanilla drop-offs. I think it was this one. No, nope, that's wrong. There we go. Okay, so... Vanilla drop-off. And let's do our final test that our trains can all go in there at the same time. Let's blueprint that real quick. Um, could you please go... Why don't I give you a schedule? Go to vanilla drop-off. And I'll blueprint that. Much quicker. And there's eight of them, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then schedule to I guess I'll just stick with that name for now. Delete this, blueprint that, and go. Whoops. Not seeing any problems. Uh, now we seem to have problems. What the hell? Why are you trying to go to the same... That's kind of weird. Alright, uh, how about you go to this one first? Apparently that's blocked. How is that blocked? I don't understand. Missing some signals at the station? Oh, here we go. That makes sense. And does that mean they can actually all park? This one's still trying to go over here. He still doesn't want to go in here? Oh, because we're, we're missing signals. Okay. That looks a little bit better, I think. Let's just check all of them. There we go. I'm glad I tested it. Alright, so we're going to need some decider combinators to set a train limit for the vanilla drop-offs. And the train limit for these has to be, uh, let's set it to 8. Just because you get the stuttering behavior if you go through the space elevator with a train limit of 1. So we're going to say limit 8 if everything equals 0. That'll work generically. And if output L input count 
Damn it. But everything equals zero isn't going to be true. Because L equals eight. I could say everything equals eight, and then the only use case where a train would come if there's stuff here is if there's exactly eight items. Um, I think that should be fine. And then we're going to set train limit L. And read from these containers. Cool. Actually, I don't think it's going to copy the... some of the wiring because of bulk rail loaders being a bit weird. Traffic balance to each corner? What do you mean by that? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Nice, uh, that's what I was talking about somewhat with the, uh, uh, with the traffic earlier. Okay, I think, oh, there we go. I think that's all of the vanilla stops set up. And then we need some basic LTN stuff. For the providers. Cool. Let's check the settings. Provide stack threshold 80. I think we should go a bit higher. Um, and we'll allow short trains. Go, we're going a bit higher just to make sure the... The belt it thing doesn't mess everything up. Alright, so these two... These two... These two, and these two. And that should be our storage block. For up to eight resources. Uh, solid resources that are going to come through the space elevator. I could do the same thing for fluids. I, I, I could obviously easily swap some of these out. But why don't we make a different one? Train stop names don't include the trains. And that should pretty much be it. Let's do... Elevator storage to show what we mean here. Vanilla to LTN storage. Fantastic. And let's see what we can do with the fluid wagon one. Like the two storage chests you got? Indeed. Oh, god damn it. Get out of here. Also, that should probably go around about here somewhere. I should probably make a blueprint book for spell evader stuff before things get out of hand. I really wish there was a button to go back one level in uh, 
in blueprint book hierarchies. So I don't suppose, let's remove all the belts, actually that'll be easy to remove when we blueprint. I don't suppose there's going to be a convenient layout for this. the exact same rail layout, that is. I am the Sky, here to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. No, I don't think so. How many fluids do we need to bring up and down anyway? All of them? Probably not. Double pump, no storage. <laughs> yes, perfect. No nodes. I think I'm just going to have to not have as many in one block for this one. Probably. On the other hand, we've got some room off to the side. Probably have to move the substation pylons. What if... Could do it something like this. That might even work with a uh, space pipe. Just barely, yeah. Wouldn't have to change the layout upstairs. Loading wouldn't happen at the highest possible speed, but you could do a whole lot worse. Oh, and then this one's going to be in the way of this one. Um, so close and yet so far. Do something different in the middle somehow. That doesn't even fit. I know it doesn't fit between them. I mean, obviously, I... what if I used a vanilla tank? Still not that good. Well, it's going to be slow. This could only fit one train load, though, or zero train loads when we've got um, the better wagons. Maybe one vanilla tank per wagon? Yeah. I could fit some more storage here, I guess. Doesn't look very good. One sec. Hmm. 
I mean, I could at least do something consistent if I did it like this. We could fit two whole train loads of fluid. It's kind of a waste of space up here if I do that, though. I could do this and use this for slower fluids. Or we could just stop trying to fit eight different fluids in one um, storage area. That might be the way to go. So how much, how many could we fit here? I'd really like to just have... Oh, of course it couldn't fit like that. Direct input and direct output on both sides. It just has to be one off. What if I had like four smaller tanks? A Dilka? Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Just like this. Uh, there's really no reason they can't be connected as well. So, I guess we would only have four different fluid storages a rail block that's not that bad is it alternatively no, that, we already tried this can't make it can't make that any smaller I can't just put this a bit closer, can I? Nope. What if you just used six fluids like the first design and used the other rails for something silly like refueling? Yeah, I think we'll just go with four. I don't know how we're going to fit six. Right, so at least four of these. I can't. No, same problem. Odd number for the size. Asymmetrical? It's not that bad, is it? If we really wanted to, I could do a 400k storage like this. And standard pickup station. Right about here. If you're only going to have four stations, might as well bulk them up, I guess. It's going to make it a nice, clean look as well. Just like that. Put one pump on the sides, maybe? On the sides.
no, I think this is fine. At least it's easy to look at, see what it is on the map. Okay, vanilla, fluid, drop off. And I'm gonna need that to bridge the gap for this. substation doesn't fit as well as I would like. I guess that's fine, actually. And then same thing over here. Don't forget chain signals next to stations. Indeed. Oh, and I don't actually have a good excuse to connect these. Unless... nope. Hmm. Can we put all of these in a couple of tiles? Really? I guess there's no reason not to have these connected. Except that we would get interference for this signal coming from the logistic train stop input. This is fine. What is it? Could literally go like each times one train limit. Nah, that's stupid. Uh, I could use a red wire over here. And connect like so. Alright. That doesn't reach. I'm upset, Rose. Just get in there. And this one, a red wire. Wait, that's not going to work, because this will never actually be empty. Um, so I'm going to have to go specific fluid greater than something. Less than something. Let's just do water. If water is less than some amount, uh, I don't know, 100k. Okay, should be able to copy paste that over here. What are you currently designing? Uh, vanilla train station drop-offs and LTN pickups for various resources. Um, so we need 50k for a pickup, and we can allow short trains and long trains. That should be fine. Cool. I could have put the pickups closer and the drop-offs further in, but I don't think it really matters. 
Luna Epicura. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, so this is... Uh, spell Elevator. I almost typed it. Space Elevator. Storage. But for fluids... And we will include the train stop names. And... Doesn't look like I missed anything this time. Put that in with the other one. Uh, and last but not least... Um, I want to update the depot. Yeah, we'll get to that. I don't feel like working on it right now. But I do think we have the whole thing figured out. Looks like our train is still doing its job. Where is it? Oh, it's waiting to drop off green circuits here. Let's uh, avoid some green circuits. Surprisingly quickly. And as soon as this drains, this will drop off here. And then go downstairs. Go to depot and await green circuit availability. That seems fine. Yeah, no, I, I did rethink for a second there. If I swapped these around so that the uh, drop-off is not blocking the pickup, and we let that train settle here if it ever completes all its tasks, the thing is we'd have to only ever have one train per resource, and I don't want to limit myself to that. So, how many cables does this cost? All time, we've consumed 1.7k cables. I don't know how many trips that train has made. Um, we had a big spike of over a thousand when we got the space elevator started. And then... We've been using about 4.3 per minute. That doesn't seem like that much. It says on the elevator tooltip. Oh, cool. Uh, parts cost 4.0613 per minute. Does that include the per trip costs that we've been using? I wonder. Okay. Um, do we have all of our blueprints? I think we do. Except for the depot that I was too lazy to update just right this second. Where's our spell evader? We've got the ground one, we've got the space one. Uh, we will be keeping that as is. We'll do the depot somewhere else. And I really... We've got the storages. I really should do the depots before we go. I definitely... I think I just want to use long trains to go through the space elevator. 
The stat cost info is also available on the tooltip. Plus five item stacks up. So th is this the minimum cost? And this is what we've been consuming by actually using it? Oh, wait, no. So... 0. 0.007 times 5 plus item stacks down. So when, it, when a train goes down, we're very incentivized to use bigger trains, but not that much, actually. 160 stacks go down, and it's 165 times 0. 0.007 tables. Uh, so like 0. 0.12 cable for a trip down. And a bit more than half a cable for a trip up. And that's on top of four per minute, which is not that much. How much, um... Oops. How much does my block for making space elevator cable give us that we're currently using 237 per minute I think we'll be okay hissing walnuts good to see you again welcome welcome hope you're doing well compared to the base per cost it's pretty much negligible yeah It'll be less negligible when we've got lots of throughput, but really not enough to worry about. Okay. As much as I should design... Uh, let's just save it here. Spell elevator lab. Um, and I noticed when I came in here, the mod settings had the testing lab turned off, so maybe I should change that back. Lots of throughput probably never will equal the per minute cost. Maybe. Might be comparable to it. Uh, is it K2SE and so on? No. A CK2 new version. I think this is it. Okay. That's Aeroframe. Oh yeah, I remember. I just handcrafted. Well, not handcrafted. I threw stuff into one machine. Our first space elevator. And we should have the cable over here. Which is totally saturated. Fantastic. Should be less cost on a smaller planet, indeed. And a smaller planet than Nalvis we do have over here. So, next question is, where do we want to put the space elevator? Um, I think I figured it out that... Let's see. This is approximately zero, 0, over here. That's well to the right of what we're working with already, which we want to get rid of eventually. And this over here is approximately zero, 0, so our... Now, orbital base is, like, here somewhere at the moment. But I think I'd rather just start building it all where we've got tons of space. So I'm leaning toward having the Spellevator, like, here-ish. Um, that'll give us plenty of room to have some depots around it and stuff. Some holmium in the way that I kind of want to mine. It's 
It's also a drill thing over here. I doubt I'm going to find the perfect place to put this. As long as we have room for depot, storage, storage, and maybe another depot near the space elevator. Let's be really optimistic and say we want like eight blocks around the space elevator eventually. So like, if I put it here, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, is that? That's cryonite. Yeah, we can dig all of this away eventually. Oh. And let's place our blueprint right about here. Get our construction train to start helping out. You know what? While we're at it, uh, why don't we fill out these blocks? And the train doesn't even have to move to get started. Alright, cool. New jetpack coming in soon. What's this train doing? Trying to leave? Awful lot of traffic here at the moment. I mean, it is next to a depot, but still. Maybe I should get another depot or two. Okay. How are things going on Krennus? We did mine the whole planet, right? I believe we have 24 drills. 48.13 core fragments per second, theoretically. And it looks like we're doing about 2.7k per minute. That's pretty good. Doesn't seem any other bottlenecks are giving us trouble. Oh good, I was wondering about the F uh, UPS drops, but it's actually just because we're placing signals. Go down here, wait for inactivity, and I'll go grab some rail myself. Why am I putting these heavy bearings? Is this where we're making them? drop those off. Apparently we're short on Iridium Plate. Did I like temporarily... Oh yeah, I remember. I think we'll be bottlenecked on Iridium Plate for a while. Do we need that for the cables? Girders, yeah we do. So we're gonna need like... Four girders per minute, let's say. Um, I just want to make sure we can keep up with that already. We can obviously keep up with it in terms of machines. Uh, how many ingots are we actually smelting? Iridium ingot. 19 per minute? That doesn't sound too bad. looking pretty good, actually. Uh, and one girder, uh, one ingot is ten of these. 
Red Envy, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So about 10 plate per minute. Sorry, 190 plate per minute. Uh, and we only need 4 for a girder, so we need like 16. I think we'll be okay. We've also got many thousands of cables saved up already. Captain True, good to see you again. Well, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What are the running costs for the Spellevator? Um, the one that was in the lab based on Nalvis was... I almost said 4k per minute. That's not quite right. Uh, about 4 per minute. A little bit more. This should be a bit less. So it shouldn't be too severe at this stage. We will, of course, want to go interstellar and get some more exotic resources relatively soon. I could also go to Gibil and potentially grab all of the core fragments for Iridium as well. But what I'd really like to do, if it is feasible, um is at least get ion spaceships just to go back and forth between space elevators at all of our outposts. I might be getting a bit too ambitious with the space elevators. Doing one at each outpost at this stage of the game. Then again, the amount of resources that go into cargo rockets is not small. Okay. We've still got a ton of cargo rocket sections stored up. Yeah, quite a lot to say the least. It's not ambitious, it's an investment, yes. But will it cost, like, all of our Iridium if we elevator the entire solar system? I'm thinking maybe not, especially if I do really aggressively get the Iridium. Oh, here it comes. Fantastic. And there it is, way out of the way of this base, so we can do what we like in all of this open space here. Nice. Where's our train? Loading up. Well, it's actually kind of loaded already. Come over here and wait for inactivity, please. I have eight elevators, it's a good iridium sink. Right row. Is it that much of a sink if it's coming from small planets though? Oh, let's see let's see what this one's like. 3.2146 per minute base cost. Uh that's pretty good actually. So that's for 3.8k radius. Uh, this one's 3.2k radius, it'll be a little bit cheaper, 2,000 radius, uh, 905 radius for the barrel. Also, I'm making 1k iridium ingots per minute. 1k ingots? Good grief. Train is indeed placing signals right now. Um, I should go back to empty my inventory. Working on an 8k Holmium build. I like to do things big. I hadn't noticed. <laughs> hadn't noticed. Alright, let's get this stone out of here. Uh, 
over here, please. Fantastic. How's our train doing? Not too bad. And I believe I have a blueprint for... Yeah, here it is. That's for short trains. I want to make a long train version of this. That'll eventually use the batteries for the space trains. Alright, let's grab some more rail and go build. Do I have any more lying around? I should do. Oh, I don't know where it is. So I think we'll have the depot for the vanilla trains just to the right of the spell evader. That makes a ton of sense, give them the shortest possible route to parking themselves here, potentially. That's a lot of power. 60 gigawatt fusion, so I don't have to worry. Indeed. Is this connected to the main network yet? It, I believe it is. And... We'll probably want to transfer electricity down. Uh, even even though we're this far out in the solar system, spamming flat solar panels up uh, up in orbit is still going to be the easiest way to get electricity for a long time. Of course, we can only put so much power down. I believe it's six gigawatts. Or 12 if you use two space elevators. Um, but that said, we're only using less than half of that already, or a quarter. The sun's orbit is getting up to 150 gigawatt. How many panels is that? Is our train ready? Not quite. And that's about all the rail I was carrying. Eleven thousand panels? Naquin panels? Rain is ready. Off you go. Wait for inactivity. Oh, the red ones. Fair enough. Yeah, I kind of... Even if you're going really big, I can't really see spamming the Naquium solar panels. Around a sun, they get 100% efficiency. Indeed. Nac panels will give me 300 gigawatt. Get to it. I might just steal some rail from this block, actually. I can find it. There we go. Fantastic. Waiting for that bot to build that, actually. Alright, why don't we make a start on 
what will eventually be our our new train block here. So I don't actually want... let's make sure we don't allow the trains to get in here yet. Because I don't want this to be a regular depot. Um, we'll probably still have them drop off fuel as usual though. Um, but yeah, I want to convert this to do long trains. Have I really not done this yet? I thought I had somewhere. Not in orbit, that's for sure. Oh yeah, that reminds me. I was putting flat solar panels in here. Oh wow. I never ended up using them. Probably as good a place as any for now. Yeah, I don't think I did actually build set depot. Okay, so I need to change this for long trains. For the fuel input output. What if this one goes over here? Close enough. Um, can that be a substation? Yeah, it can. I thought you'd be part of Mike's team already. Uh, I am. It's, I just haven't clicked on a thing, I guess. I think he sent me a link, but I couldn't see where I could uh, do the thing. I've just been a bit busy. Alright, so... This one will still be short trains, because we're just picking up the used batteries. Don't have to change that part. Over here... want to do this. And this one isn't going to change either. Now that leaves the main set of them. So I want to move this back. I think. At least three tiles. Uh, probably more than that, actually. This looks good. And then this part stays the same. This will go here. That actually works really well. Except the part where this doesn't reach. For the modded trains? Yeah, the ones where they have output of used up batteries. Alright. So on the opposite side, it's going to be like this. Looks about right. Why am I short on stations? Because there's a lot of stations here, that's probably why. But then other belt doesn't reach either. Um, we'll see. Give me more stuff. Especially rail. And especially... 
logistic train stops. Actually, give me some regular ones as well, because I'm about to change it. As soon as I finish this build, I'm going to change it out with some vanilla stops after I blueprint it. Down we go. Let's get our construction train back over here somewhere. And down we go. Oh, I need to change this station name. Or length two. Let's not stand on the tracks, even if we're sure we've blocked them. And over here as well. Fantastic. Alright, let's check that our belts actually do things. What the? There we go. Make sure the rail gets everywhere. Middle underground belts there don't connect. These ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me just put that about here. Why are my bots not building it? Oh, I see why. Now both of us have odd numbers of belts. Both myself and the train, that is. Uh, and what about over here? I don't think I've updated it yet. Seems good. Seems good. We have double underground here as well. Uh, that should be fine, actually. Looks so good. Hard to tell with these bots. I'm gonna go pick up some of the stone they've never, uh, they've surely picked up. Or whatever it is. And whatever else over here. Fantastic. There's some extra inserters on South Station. True. Thank you. That should probably go there. What? Oh, I didn't copy-paste enough. Evidently. Alright. Where's our rail? I didn't put enough in to saturate the whole thing. This doesn't go anywhere, does it? But we did get rail over here somehow? Must have changed something that was working earlier on. Fantastic. Can 
come to think of it, we've got red belt and yellow inserters. But I'm pretty sure it'll work, at least when it saturates. Maybe I should make it blue inserters. Alright, up we go. I see rail make its making its way through. Should probably make sure we take that back. taking longer than I imagined. Well, I did put thousands of rail in it, I suppose. Or well, about a thousand. Alright, we need to repair the red wires. Make sure they link up to everything. Probably the same three connections that we have to make every time. And let's have a look see. That seems okay. Nice. Alright, and I'm pretty sure the sushi belts are working properly. Very well. Let's hoover up the last of this rail slightly faster. It's actually very slightly faster. Never mind. jump into the editor, throw down a empty rail block. Doesn't everything in Factorio take a little longer than imagined? Not everything, I think. And then paste this in here. Replace the bits of missing straight rail. And blueprint. Oh, probably need to update the station name. There we go. And this one can stay the same. Alright, let's look at our naming convention for this. LCL, LCL Depot V2. That makes a ton of sense. Uh, depot, two, and space locomotive. Train stop names, yes. And snap to grid, there we go. Looking good. Let's put that in next to the tier one. Well, not tier one, but length one. And now that we've got that, let's convert it for um, our vanilla train depot. Maybe I should do a decon planner. Logistic train stops. Not that we couldn't use logistic train stops for this. Uh, but I find it a little easier to look at the differences this way. And we, of course, will keep the LTN stops for fuel input-output. Oh, there is a bit of rail left. Get in my belly. 
There we go. Don't need that constant combinator. Alright, so I think I said we were going to go this color. Um, and I'm just going to name it Vanilla Stop Depot 2, I guess. Then this goes over here, and these four go here and here. They don't need any signals. And I should probably make a blueprint for that one as well. And I'll put it in here. Alright, let's copy paste all this. Once again, reconnect that. And this will be... Uh, elevator... Train stop. Length two, I guess. Vanilla Depot LCCL. Snap to grid. And I believe that is everything. And obviously we'll have to make some changes to make it work in space, but that's fine for now. Oh, that can go in... here. Morning, there is a mod that works for LTN and the elevator, yes I know. Uh, Schnutsky, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. We only need 762, uh, parts to get this thing started. What I didn't remember to do is add a drop-off for the, uh, space elevator cable. But obviously that won't be difficult. Let's see. Where would be the neatest little spot to squeeze it in, though? Hmm. I don't want to interfere with all of the other rail here. Is the only thing, so I can't just take it straight off of one of the roundabouts. Without causing some issues. Minor issues, but issues nonetheless. Um, I could probably do, like, a non-double-head style. Is that even going to fit? Probably not. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, I could take from here. Or even from here. No. Okay, it's definitely possible, but can we make it aesthetically tolerable? Nope. Nope? Oh no. Awesome cat. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. If I do just take from the roundabout like this... Then our signaling 
Apparently I'm out of signals. That's actually not that big of a deal. As long as there's nothing waiting here. Which isn't going to happen for very long. I can live with that. Alright, let's put a drop-off in the usual spot over here. Which I think would be... 2, 3, 4, 5... That's the middle, right? Yeah. Alknaz, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, let's put in a drop off. Just like that. I guess just a loader straight to the elevator. Oh no, it's going to look like it's going into empty space, isn't it? No! I don't love that. But I don't really want to put the input station down here. Uh, I guess we could move it over here for the look of the thing. It's a little bit better, I guess. We're going to need a substation right about here. And requester. You can have it like that, literally unplayable. <laughs> Indeed. Alright. Um, provide uh, request threshold 40, short trains only. I mean, I guess there's no reason not to allow long trains. Just so it doesn't have to deliver as often. We've got plenty of cable. Uh, let's see. Request stack threshold. If we're going to allow long trains, I should make the request stack threshold 80. And... That probably means it's only going to send long trains. Whatever. Uh, cable only stacks to 20, I believe. So... That's only 1600 for a train. Let's go 3200. Uh, and I might just not put it into the space elevator until we're just about ready to start using it. Um, just so that we're not paying for it. To so just sit there and be pretty. And I forgot to change the station name. Let's wait till the trains have gone. There's actually two of them coming already. Alright, so over here, did we actually finish this already? I think we might have. Oh yeah, let's put the rail back. And we're going to request whatever we're using for fuel these days. Solid rocket fuel? Sure, why not? Wait, why don't I just copy the settings? Um, from here? Not quite. No, LTN bad. 
That's way too quick. Alright, request stack threshold 40. Uh, what is it? 400? Let's make this 800. And research finished. Nice. Alright, we have a train delivering fuel. We have no more trains delivering cable. Let's update the station name over here. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. What am I overconfident about? Um there we go, space elevator. Cable requester for space elevator. And we can turn that back on now. Life in general? I don't think I'm overconfident about that. Oh, wow. Uh, let's get rid of that uh, Immersite cave sooner rather than later. Can I make one of those, or do I have to go pick one up? I kind of have to go pick it up. Let's make the station, though. Easiest place to do that would be here. I don't think for the Immersite Caves we need to worry about um, the encoded network ID because we're not storing it anywhere because it doesn't come from an infinite source. Pretty sure. in a site. Where is it? In the site. No? Raw... Oh, it has one M. I wouldn't have thought... I wouldn't have thought so. Uh, let's do long trains only. Provide stack threshold. I'll bump it up. For now. And we just need... Does the construction train have quarry drills? I don't see any. And I don't particularly want to give it to them. Uh, but before we get up there, let's put our construction train, say, over here. Nice. Zone Discovery 2 is almost finished. Not very expensive yet. Doop a doop. How about we just toss this into here? Why don't we shift C actually? And what else was I coming back for? Quarry drill. We are in exactly one chest. Down we go. What are those bots doing? Oh, that's fast. 
Give it some prods, why not? It's only 44k here. Shouldn't last too long. Uh, we need to build some vanilla trains. Apparently, this guy is no pathing. He is not no pathing. There's just not that much fuel on the belt yet. Alright, cool. And I think I want the vanilla trains to have the same color here. 255155. And I won't bother giving it a schedule just yet. Let's make a little blueprint for it, actually. Um, trains, no train fuel, no entities. Uh, locomotive, actually. Vanilla train. Put that in with the Spellevator stuff. Since that's the only reason we're using them. It's going to take a few trips for this to saturate, I guess. Oh, did it put the fuel in here? Yes, it did. Yellow inserters are able to keep up. Probably needs to have a few items on the belt for that to work. What kind of zones are we discovering? Nikara. Nikara. Uh, can I search by Delta V? There we go. Nikara. It is a Holmium planet in Cordova. 57k Delta V from Hagen. Radius 5.4k. No biters. Um, pretty long day-night cycle. 102% solar. over here. That's a very good candidate for when we want to expand our Holmanite. We also found an asteroid belt. Gige? That's in Basilius. Nice and close. Uh, lots of biters, big radius. We probably won't be going there anytime soon. But it does have a lot of barrel. And almost 100% solar. Cool. Do any of them have, uh... Pyramids? Not yet. We also found Typhon, which is bit further away. It's also barrel. Lots of biters, waterless, 4.3k uh, radius, and it's in Halcyon, which is over here. Don't think we'll be going there. At least not anytime soon, that's for sure. How have you got the names of stars colored? Um, I don't know version of the game. Nothing I've gone out of my way to do. Okay. Um, we're probably going to want a bunch of storages up in Hagen Orbit. Oh, 
much space rail do we have? All of it, I imagine. Yeah, we're not having any trouble with that. Another zone discovery? Am Amich Amicania, I guess. That is Vulcanite. 5.1k radius. Maximum biters. Waterless, of course. I think every Vulcanite planet is probably going to be waterless. It's kind of far away for this stage of the game as well. And it's in the Timagus system. Timagus. Where is that? I don't see it. Oh, wow. No, that's different. T Terabellus. Timagus system. Did I misread that? T E A M Agus. Nope. That's down here. Cool. Fantastic. Uh, let's finish building out this rail. Or at least the signals, I suppose. And get our construction train on the case. Please park yourself over here. Wait for a bit. And then over here, and also wait for a bit. Nice. Back to base for now. Doop a doop. Oh, that's all of our research that I queued up. Okay. Let's have a look. Should I do some more zone discovery? I can't see myself actually getting out there anytime soon. Let's knock off some of these prerequisites. Especially the cheap ones. Uh, I guess since it's so cheap, we may as well get rocket reusability done. And... Really care about this. That'll do for now. Probably been asked before, but did you build the space elevator? Can you show? Can you showcase it? We have built it, and we have it supplied with a uh, cable. But I haven't let the cable in just yet, um, because we wouldn't have anything to do with it. Uh, we're just putting everything else in place first. Well, not everything else, but. A few things, to say the least. Um, but I think we're just about ready. Like, we've got... We've got our vanilla train depot on this side. Um, we're going to have to build that up on the spell elevator as well. In fact, before we do... Before we do go up there... Uh, let's see. Where's our spell elevator? Here it is. I should put an icon here. Fantastic. Where's our blueprint? That's for the rail input output. Uh, we're going to need some scaffolding to make that work. Vanilla LTN not working with it. Um, I'm not using that mod. I, I had stuff in mind that I wanted to try to work around the LTN limitation, and we're going to be doing that. Oh, what? And then... Is that 
goes about there. Is this it? Yes. Perfect. And I think that goes about there. Imperfect. I just want to have as much as possible laid out before before I actually go in. Oh wait, we definitely want to emulate this. With the room for the flat solar panels. Um, and then over here. Doop -a doop I need to take our... Uh, a block here and run that through the converter. That's taking a second. And out comes a version with space rail. Wait, what? No, I need to import blueprint. Import string. Failed to import unknown version. I must have messed something up. Try again. There we go. Wait, that's... That's the wrong blueprint. Uh, what? Export to string, copy paste. This goes here. And this goes here. Import string. Fantastic. All right. Sifa Cat, thank you for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. How's your stream today? Factorio, fantastic. Alright, let's see how much of this we can paste. That's about all I'm really looking for for the moment. And we'll have something to do as soon as we get up there. I also need some storages. Um, maybe it makes sense to put the storages around the vanilla depot, as opposed to around the space elevator specifically. It's not going to make that much of a difference. Sea Freight, indeed. Soulburn, Professional Dave, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, we've also got this storage... It's going to be pretty easy to replicate, actually. Uh, let's run that one through the rail converter. Doop -a doop. And import string. Looks good. And may as well do this one as well. Import string. Okay. So up in space. A uh, few opposite end, not right. We're going to want some material storages. Not that one. Say here. Wait, no, no, no. 
screen. Not there. Okay. Glad it let me undo that. Uh, and a fluid one up here, I guess. Alright, so we have quite a bit to do as soon as we turn on this elevator. And I might just uh, hastily link all of this to our existing rail. Where is it? Look, up here. Get something functional. should theoretically be able to actually get the construction train to go and build all of that rail, although it'd be a pain to say the least. Actually, it's going to have to build all of this rail before it can turn around. What is that on the map? Oh, it's the zero zero point. That's fine. JP? Good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, what are we doing on the ground? Um, not a whole lot, apparently. I'm not going to worry just yet about building the storages down here for stuff that we want to bring down from space. It's really more about getting things into space at this point. Let's also get this Holmanite out of the way. Can I do it with a lazy mine? Uh, surprisingly, maybe yes. For the most part. Where you go, the bots. Oh, don't put the whole man in my inventory. sure I could have done that with just red belt. Yep. And then we just need that to connect, which is going to mean some wavy rail, but that's okay. this one coming. It's already gone through like 8% of the whole thing it can drill out. Okay. Should we pull the trigger? I think it's about time almost. What? 
Why isn't it building? Why are the construction bots not doing anything here? That's kind of strange. Warta, good to see you again. Well, and welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, and let's nope. put a spellevator icon over here as well. Okay, do we have life support? Big Clown, Awesome Cat. Welcome, welcome. I think I said hello to Awesome Cat before. Not sure what the bonk is for. Uh, where's our thruster suit? Here we go. And we're gonna need some life support. Some jetpack would be good. Oh, wait, I've built the next tier of jetpack. Well, I haven't actually built it, but we've got it. Uh, it needs aeroframe poles. And that's about it. If I want the autocrafter to do it. Am I having the autocrafter make these things, or did I just handcraft a few? Probably the latter. I don't think we even had the autocrafter when I did this before. Um, but let's make some jetpacks. I think I have to tell it... oh no. I'm gonna have to program it to hold on to all of the intermediate products to make that happen. Let's just... let's just get this done ourselves. Just pick up some aeroframe poles. Can I make the next best uh, thruster suit yet? Nope. Can we research it? Uh, actually, yes. Just needs one material catalog. Alright, let's knock that off after these. Just gonna go pick up some aeroframe poles manually. Oh, here they are. Take that many. You know what? I'll just take a few extra back to the mall for the hell of it. And we need some LDS. Low density structure is over here, and let's take all of the old jetpacks out. Apparently I've only got four, and start making some better ones. What do I need here? Steel plate. my first... here we go. Jetpack Mark Three. Fantastic. And give me some extended life support as well. Uh, do I have life support down here? Not really. I'll just hurry up and go get them from... Uh, from the mall. Well, that's some decent speed with only two jetpacks. Okay. Space cable. Uh, space elevator cable. In you go. And we are like 5% done getting the elevator going. 
soon. I didn't realize it would take this long. I felt like I was about to be going up there in 10 seconds. Can you go up and down the space elevator or do you need to ride a train? You can go up and down the space elevator like this. RF Holloway, good to see you again. You're welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, I'll probably set it to send energy down. Not that we'll have it connected straight away. Where's our train? It still hasn't built a single piece of space rail here. Which I find strange to say the least. It's got roboports that are charged. It's got space rail. It's got robots. And it's worked before. I just don't understand what is happening right now. Very strange. Oh! Now they go? I don't get it. Even a little bit. 60% on the cable parts. Beautiful. We've still got inputs for these, right? Oh, we don't have heavy girders. But we've got... About 7.2k plus cables waiting over here. Uh, and it costs us like 3 per minute, I think it was. 3.2146 uh, per minute. Uh, we've got about 37 hours of space elevator working. Assuming we don't manufacture any more cable, and that's ignoring the 2.4k over here. Alright, here we go. Let's ride this thing. It's already. And away we go. Let's go get our life support. First things first. And research is continuing. I use a mod that keeps the bots responsive for that problem, indeed. Alright, where's my life support? Oh, here it is, I didn't have to search. Fantastic. Alright, let's continue building this sucker. And I'll probably just drop off these aeroframe poles now that I look at it. Don't know what else I just dropped in there, but it probably wasn't too important. Hopefully. Uh, this is what I want to pick up. Space rail. Fantastic. And why don't I manually drive this train? They're not going to build that? There's plenty of room in the inventory. Or is it my inventory? Yeah, it is. There we go. Dynamic Robot Cubes. That's the name of the mod. Okay. There's 
spots are going to take a little while to catch up. doop a -doop. May as well get our new rocket suit as soon as possible. What does it take to make it again? Uh, iridium plate, one material catalog, the rest is easy, basically. Except that I have to take off my Mark, two th uh, Mark 1 thruster suit first. I just realized I'm going to have to do scaffolding to get the power poles down here. Not really looking forward to that. I could just do a separate power network down here, just to be super lazy. I didn't even think to bring any scaffolding though. We do have 1k in the train, that's more than I realized. Now we can really start building. They really don't want to build that bit of rail right in front, do they? here for a sec. And I want uh, flat solar panels actually. Yeah, have these rail and have this rail as well. I'll go get the flat solars. More than enough to put, what is it, 16 of them? No, I think it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, no, 1, 2, th yeah, it's 16 per rail block, I think, that we're squeezing in conveniently. Less than a stack. Greetings, Space Factory Mortals, Alceris, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. Send the power up from the planet for now? I guess I could do that, yeah. Then again, we are burning uranium to do that. And there's nothing urgent up here yet. Oops. Uh, actually, can I just grab this blueprint? It's not going to mess with anything. Don't think. Fantastic. Some bots look stuck from the main base. I mean, these ones, they're just slow. So, power network uh, looks pretty good, actually. Five point three megawatt out of six gigawatt. Oh, it's because it wants to send electricity down, I guess. Maybe I should configure this to not do any of that. Wait. Oh, that's a ghost. That's not actually 
a flat solar panel yet. These bots are taking their sweet time recharging. Um, but yeah, every time I point at the power poles, it looks like they have no electricity. Why is that? Much confusion. Um, if I put down an accumulator, it would be, it would, it would help if I had an accumulator. Well, let's try this instead. Uh, I was going to put down just something that consumes power. Oh, here we go, combinator. Yeah, it's got power. Okay, now... Now the power poles say they have power. Not sure what that was about. Okay then. Construction train. Over here, please. Wait for inactivity and return. Unless of course you've placed just the wrong signals so that you don't think you can return. Give me some of that scaffolding and solar panels. So if I tell the elevator to send power down again, we're not going to see all the... We are going to see all of the uh, big electric poles say they have no electricity. Um, okay then. It's kind of off-putting. Is that the end of my scaffolding? Might be... Not quite. And... Need some more scaffolding over here. Should be it. Fantastic. So how much does the space elevator cost? Five megawatt. Okay then. Not a whole lot, really. It's like what? About 30 of these flat solar panels. Nice. Alright, I think I'd like to just fill this with scaffolding, and then we'll copy, paste, edit uh, what we did with the other build. I have to drive this back manually a little bit. Uh, and then we'll just remove the excess scaffolding if we so desire. What? What? Nope. 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 We're not going downstairs. There we go. 
Why is this bit of rail missing? Oh, I'm not too worried about it right this second. Uh, please go back. We need solar arrays, those aren't going to cut it, but they already are cutting it. We haven't even finished, and it is enough power for the space elevator at least. It's not supposed to power the entire base, it's just a little bit extra with some space that we're not using anyway. Are you sending power up through the elevator? Nope. Alright, uh, I might take a little break there. I'm in dire need of some hydration. It's quite warm here still. Well, not still, it's going to be quite warm here for the next half a year, at least. Uh, let's jump in somewhere where we're not paying for life support, and we'll fire up the old LTN screensaver. And we'll get some words on stream. Wait a second, are those under the rail loaders? Yes, Midden, and uh, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. MC Ace, welcome also. Um, I like to fill every empty platform in space with panels. Saves a bunch of space in space. Yes. It also means I don't have to go out of my way to build it as much. Wait, what did I just... Oh no. That's not the thing I meant to change. Looks like I didn't break anything. Never saw them? The mod is uh, bulk rail loaders. Alright, we'll do some words on stream in about 30 seconds. I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck, have fun, and I'll see you soon.
Okay. Nicely done. Let's continue, shall we? Setting up the space elevator. Well, we've technically set up the space elevator, but there's a whole bunch of other stuff to go around it. Where am I? Here we go. We've actually got our thruster suit Mark II ready to go. Um, I guess I should research some next tier stuff. I can actually do pylons. But obviously not pylon substations until we get energy 2. I kind of want to rush energy 2 now. For just 200 energy 2, I could get um, substation pylons going. And we wouldn't have to build and expand our space rail network with regular old power poles. Um, the only downside is I would need to build energy 2 in this spaghetti. But I guess that's not that bad. This game fun, worth a buy, uh, a thousand percent, uh, if it's the sort of thing you're into. Uh, which, there is a demo, which will give you hours of playtime to figure that out. Hulk smashed... Hulk smashed my... oh no. Uh, welcome, hope you're doing well. Okay, um, what was I doing? Looking at the research. I'm very tempted to rush Energy 2 with our spaghetti signs. I think I will. I think I will do that. I think that's a worthy diversion. Um, so do we actually have... Well, first of all, let's get our better thruster suit. I need 50 iridium plate, one material catalog, and what's the problem with comprehensive strength data? No concrete. Hmm. We've got 108 concrete in the entire logistic network. Is concrete just not something that I was requesting here? Looks like it. Well, we don't actually need to use a rocket to send up the concrete anymore. But maybe it would be easier for the moment. Wait. No, I was going to say, could we make the concrete up here? But that's a terrible idea. Okay. Okay. Um, I might just hijack a train full of concrete and literally just drive it up here. Alright, let's get down this elevator. So cool that we can just do that. Let's hijack this vanilla train. And I'll actually just give it a schedule. Concrete. Oh boy, where is it? Uh, do we not have a station for concrete up here? We do. Wait until full cargo. Are we moving? Would help if we're on automatic. Uh, and then go to elevator. Egan up. And then I'll probably just drive it manually. Oh, we're going to a different concrete pickup. Well, that works. That's fine.
Obviously, it's a bit of extra work having uh, the trains, having to have the separate vanilla trains to go through the space elevator and these storages and stuff. But on the other hand, I do get more control over which, which trains go through the space elevator. And we won't have like... Uh-oh. Uh, where's our train here? Let's go over here, please. That works. Fantastic. Alright, please park yourself here for the moment. And wait for... Um, some condition that won't be met. Also worth noting, this isn't the base game. It's very heavily modded. This is true. Base game looks different. The base game doesn't have... Uh, base game doesn't take like a thousand hours for a regular playthrough. I mean, it might take many hours your first time, but it's not quite that big. Take this as well. Um, why don't I just dump all of that straight in here? Fantastic. And ship C again. Alright, that should get concrete over to this build. Fantastic. That means science is moving again. And come to think of it, I'm surprised we got all of our research done. Maybe there's some other consumer of concrete. Well, regardless, as soon as uh as soon as we get one comprehensive data Yeah, there we go. Then we can get our material catalogue and upgrade our thruster suit. Fantastic. Wait, what? Oh, there it is. Alright, so these can go back here. And then... What are we missing? Just 50 iridium plate? Where do we use iridium... Oh, it doesn't matter. Here it is. Okay, so I need to take this off for just a sec. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Um... Put, just put this in here for now. And... Handcraft... Ruster Suit Mark II. Preferably before we die of exposure. It might actually not happen before we die of exposure if I don't get in this spaceship. Oh no, I can't change direction while I'm floating like that without the thruster suit, I don't think. Oh, I can a little bit, and I shouldn't have tried it. Not right now. Okay. 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 Um... Where's my new thruster suit? The one I just handcrafted. Where is it? You are using it? Oh, here it is. Okay, that works. Uh, Alright, let's get a nuclear reactor in there. Um, I need to go get the fuel. We need some life support. Some jetpack. And some robopod. That's a good start. And give to me the nuclear fuel, please. Hulk smashed. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. 
just to stop the th thump th thump, we'll take a med uh, med kit. It did indeed equip automatically. Okay. Uh, I should probably take this train back down. Or I could just build the uh, the depot for it up here already. Do we not have a path or something? Oh, there we go. Please go down here. Pylon is getting researched. Alright, so what do we actually have to do for Material 2? It's not Material 2, we already did that. Uh, energy 2, it's probably going to be about the same. Four more data cards. We need negative 273 degree thermo fluid for this. Have we got that yet? Not sure if I've researched it. Uh, anyway, let's drive this thing down here. And I think I'll park it in the depot, actually. Right about there. Fantastic. I think if I'm in the train, it doesn't cost life support time. Okay, I needed to go get some more scaffolding. Can we get the construction train to bring it? Looks like it's not fully loaded. For some reason, we're trying to load an insane number of Space splitters. Maybe that was a typo. Um, probably don't need burner inserters up here either. And apparently we're also trying to load regular train stops. Why don't we have them? How much have I put on autocraft here? Not a lot. Okay. Not sure I'm... Not sure why I'm requesting regular train stops at the moment, though. And then apparently we don't have chain signals? Oh, there's a lot that I'm not autocrafting here yet. Uh, alright. Let's do that over here. And... Could I send the construction train already, though? I think it, we should wait till it has some more signals. Also, it's carrying a bunch of crap. Let's recycle it. Like Left for Dead but hate melee games. How do you feel about Vermintide? It's not all melee. Also left a bunch of... That's my armor. I want it back. Alright, fine. Let's fly over there. I should make the... The tier 2 energy signs and the spaghetti anyway. I really, really, really want those substation pylons before we go and build a whole um, 
rail network with not substation, uh, not pylons. Alright, so that means we're going to need negative 273 degree thermo fluid, which we do have. I mean, we can make it. Probably more efficiently if I use the cryonite slush, but I'm not going to do that with the spaghetti build. Um, let's knock this off. And make the rocket... Oh, this is infinite research, but with... Tier 1 Astro? Interesting. Well, I don't want to go too deep into it. I want to get away from cargo rockets. I just want them crashing a bit less. Uh, but yeah, anyway, we can turn negative 100 into negative 273. So we need to just figure out where we're going to put our energy 2 cards. We need laser, particle collider, particle collider, electromag. Laser facility. Do we have everything we need? Probably not. Glass, laser turret. Speaking of which, I should pick this mess up. Do we not have steel plate? We have steel ingot. Oh, we're not breaking it down fast enough. No, we've got the plate right here. What the hell? All the bots are busy? I guess so. Oh, we had more bots earlier and a bunch of them died. That's probably it. Uh, anyway, need some lasers. There we go. And we need... What was it called again? Uh, I believe it is plasma generator. Particle collector and electromag facility. Do I have any spares of those? No. Nope. Um, particle collider. Gonna need some holmium cable. Which we don't have here. Yes, we do. Fantastic. Uh, and more LDS, I guess. Okay. Is the cable coming? It says 54 is on the way. It's a hundred. Where is Holmium Cable? Holmium Cable. There's most of it. And I'll be taking that. And one more. Fantastic. Alright, the other thing we need is a electromag facility. That should be pretty easy. Don't... Oh, there we go. Just need the LDS to be delivered. There it is. Fantastic. Okay. So. Uh, laser, particle, particle, electromagnetic.
Particle times two and electromagnetic facility. Let's see what their inputs are. So it's quantum phenomenon data for this one. Um, I guess force field data over here. Atomic data and subatomic data. Okay, so this one wants ion stream. This one wants green stuff. Prot uh, proton stream. If I recall correctly, it's one step away from... Oh, plasma stream. Plasma stream plus lithium. We need another particle accelerator. Okay. Particle accelerator. And this one's pretty straightforward. Um, if we can just get the ion stream over here. Which we should be able to do. With relative ease. Just put in a requester. And a provider. And these things should already be available. Wait, we don't need that many. Just, like, one at a time, please. We've actually got tons of blank data cards. Cool. Never mind. Okay, apparently we did have a particle accelerator lying around. And we need super cold going in, 25 going out. And I think. Hmm. I'm going to need a gap here if we're going to do it like this. Hey, we got pylons. Okay. Uh, what's this? Three tiles? A little bit more. A little hard to see. Be fine. And I have to get this 25 degree thermofluid back. I also need negative 100 for input. That's going to be fun. What's this? Negative 100. Fantastic. Alright. Scaffolding over here. What temps do these want? Negative 273 and negative 100. Okay. In that case, why don't you go over here? see what we can fit this way. It's not going to be a good fit, is it? Seven? Not really. And then this one wants negative 100. Wait. Oh yeah, this one wants negative 100, therefore 25 can go there. Okay, that 
Let's bring our pipe over this way. And how many tiles is that? 9, 10, 11. There's no neat way to do that. I guess five and frames. It's almost a good fit. Almost, but not quite. this thing actually oh never mind okay this was green stuff we need plasma stream which isn't going to be too difficult except the throughput is already pretty terrible uh, how about I rotate it this way and just take it from here some electricity. And what temp is this? Negative 100. That's going to continue from over here. Good fit at least. Nope, not quite. And we need a RoboPort. Inserter. That's all we need for our green stuff. Uh, looks like we've already got comic data. Fantastic. Uh, since we're outputting trash as well. Atomic data has to be less than something. And that should be a purple chest. And it looks like it's going to be the same for all of them. Questions. stack. Uh, which type of data was it? This one, force field data. And then, last but not least, quantum phenomenon data, which was already being produced. Less than 50. Okay. This also needs electromagnetic field and polarization data. Uh, the rest are already functional, it looks like. Alright, electromagnetic field, polarization. Um, where are those getting built? As I was afraid of, electromagnetic field is one of our slowest. 
Um, also, we've been slowly filling up on junk data cards over here. Looks like we've already set it up to be available. Um... just that it's getting taken here as well. As for polarization, same deal actually. Um, I should probably change these to to output to active provider chests. I'm surprised this one isn't full, but this one's looking pretty nasty. Alright. Same setting, get rid of that. Doesn't recycle things, does it? Nope. And active provider over here. Somewhere. Okay. Research is done. Let's knock off Astro Science Pack 2. And I don't really know what else I care about right now. Oh, we could get... That's just the fast recipes. Don't really care about those. Don't really care about energy shields either. Alright, so our major bottleneck is uh, plasma. Plasma stream. How's our power? Pretty bad. Okay. Let's go get some flat solars. Plaster them all over the place. Uh, why don't I just upgrade these ones? While we're at it. Can I fit an even number between these? Nope. Well, that's a reason. I guess I can fit the flat solars between these, though. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. What am I overconfident about? Thanian, Marsh, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And flat solar's in here as well. Life in general again? Am I not waiting for the other shoe to drop hard enough? Played Verm 3, deleted after an hour. I only played number 2. Power's actually looking okay already. That wasn't that hard. It's just as well, because I want to build another one of these uh, plasma generators, though I'm not sure how I'm going to fit it in this mess. I need to get the plentiful chemical gel to find its way to one of these machines. We'll remove that. Do I have a plasma generator spare? Nope. I suppose if you put a big red button with the word overconfidence on it, someone will push it? Never. That is definitely not how people work. Even a little bit.
We don't get that many gratuitous presses of it, actually. Remind yourself uh -oh. that your confidence is a slow and insidious killer. Oh no. All right, did we get another one yet? We very much did. Let's place it over here, I guess. I'm hoping I can pipe this stuff. Hmm, what does this eat? Rare metals. We can do that anywhere. So... If I swap these three out and put in a three-length pipe... And use undergrounds here. And move this robo port. I can put a corner pipe there and it's not going to be a problem. And then we can... Find our way down this way. And then this can go up here. Then, of course, if you've mentioned the big red button, oh yeah. Yeah, you can't talk about things like, I don't know, um, like Yay Train without risking it. Alright, is that actually got everything it needs except for its lithium? Fantastic. And rare metals can go in here. What's our theoretical rate? Still negative. Uh, still very much bottlenecked on plasma stream, so we basically doubled the speed of our bottleneck there. Uh, how much chemical gel can we make? Eight per second? And this consumes barely any of it. I might just put another one. It's a pretty easy fit. Assuming I can get this up here somehow. And some electricity might be good. Akira, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Did you get the space elevator made and put up? Yes. Yes, I did, and I would be spending more time building the stuff around it, but I noticed that we just need one more spaghetti science to get uh, substation pylons, and I would really like to not have to keep building these as I start to build out basically our, like, our final space base. Nice, indeed. Tiny Goliath, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Need stuff to make more stuff? Of course. Alright, so we've tripled our bottleneck here. Oh, I forgot we do need rare metals for this as well. That's easily remedied. Um, and as for polarization data, it looks like we're not having the slightest problem with that.
So it's really just electromagnetic field data, which was bottlenecked on the bottleneck we just fixed. And if be good if not all of the polarization, uh, the electromagnetic field data got taken over to that requester chest. That might be nice. How about I put a limit on this that says energy science 2 has to be greater than zero. Uh, assuming we don't need energy 1 catalog to make energy 2, well that might be how it usually goes. It is how it usually goes. Uh, I might have to come up with something else. Do we have the research servers? We do. I think we're going to need two of them. Why is thermofluid... Oh. Oh, I haven't linked this thermofluid 25 degrees to the main... Thermo for the 25 degree network. Where am I going to do that? Up here, I think. It's going to be easiest. close. Okay, that should stop being full now. Fantastic. And there's our force field data. Nice. All right, what are we doing here? Uh, uh, energy science two. I need broad catalog. Broad catalog is all of these data cards plus negative a hundred. Let's put it here. And this one needs negative 100 also. Let's shove it over here. Um, they also have to output 25 degree thermofluid though. Uh, how about... about like this. Couple of threes. And we'll swap this pipe out. Maybe a seven? Is it a seven? Yeah, it's a seven. Uh, and underground pipe. And then whatever fits here. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. There's no good combo for that. Uh, I guess we need some long arms for IO here. Questa. Everything else of a long pipe is just parallel. The big knobs are the center of four-way, yes. Except for the nines and the fifteens, where only the ends connect. Alright, and then this one. Looks good. Um, 
I'd be shocked if there was significant data in the robot network at any given moment. And then let's put some active providers over here. And maybe a limiter on those. So this is energy 2. Is less than, I don't know, 200. Catalog two is less than fifty. Oh. Oh, and we need energy one to be delivered over here. I did make this a buffer, so the energy one is available. I just have to request from buffer chests. Whoa! Let me, let me back. Request from buffer chests. Uh, and we need energy insight as well. Which I guess we just steal from here. Am I only direct inserting it? Yeah. Let's change that. Uh, why don't we just active prov that? Remove the filter. As long as energy inside is less than X. Okay, so if I'm not mistaken, um, what is this doing? How? How did an energy science pack what oh I see. Long I'm in Serta. Dub. Cool. So if I haven't missed anything, that should be a very slow spaghetti to give us energy science pack two. We actually just need energy insight and sig data, which we know does find its way uh, into the logistic network. So where are the catalogs? We're looking for electromagnetic field data, which is coming out of here. Oh, did I stop picking those up? Yeah, I need to get rid of that condition. Okay. So it might take a while, but we only need... Uh, let's see, 200 energy science packs to get pylon substation. Uh, less than that, actually, because the prod bonus is almost 52%. Uh, the prod bonus, rather, is 48%. So we need, like, 108 or something. Space elevator yet? Yes, indeed. Emo, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, here it is. This is our space elevator. Uh oh. Um, I may have forgotten to connect this little wire here. And we might just have several short trains delivering. Solid rocket fuel. Um, can I send them somewhere else? To drop off? I think this is the only station with that name. This 
one is has got plenty of room actually. And probably the same deal over here. And how many more depots do we have? Two. This will probably sort itself out. Okay, let's get back to building. How is LTN performing with it? I'm building around LTN. I've got, uh, how you say, some vanilla trains that are going to go through the space elevator. Uh, how's our system over here? Why do you have Holmium Plate? Get recycled. It's gonna take a moment. I should probably pick up some scaffolding myself. There's a patch mod for it? Yeah, so I've heard. Physical bits? Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Other ideas do tell. Uh, so basically, we're going to have vanilla trains handle the space elevator stuff. Um... For the pickup, it's actually very easy. All we have to do is, like, set the provide stack threshold uh, to two train loads of stuff and allow, uh, have a vanilla train with a schedule to come pick up from here. And we'll have to have a bit of, uh, what, one combinator to say if green circuit's greater than X, train limit one, uh, Push that through. So the pickup is easy. Uh, then we have some train stations which will act as storage that takes from vanilla train and gives to LTM. Uh, so for things that we want to send up through the space elevator, we'll have some storages uh, over here. Uh, this is probably it, actually. And we're basically going to have the vanilla train drop off here and an LTN pick up from this spot. Um, we'll have a kind of like a vanilla train depot right next to the space elevator. So they can park themselves here um, until this is actually requesting something. And then, once they drop off, they'll go back down through the elevator, go to the depot on the other side, and once the amount of stuff is available, they'll go pick it up. Can LTN and Vanilla schedule the same train to that station then? Yeah. So, basically, all you need to do is prioritize one or the other. And the way I'm going to do it is... Normally, I have this set to two train loads of stuff before we allow LTN to schedule a pickup. I'm just going to set that to 160 instead. Oh, sorry, one train load of stuff. We're going to set it so there has to be two train loads of stuff before LTN is allowed to schedule something. Um, and there'll be potentially a vanilla train coming to pick stuff up here. Um, it'll have a train limit of one if there's more than 80 stacks of stuff. And LTN doesn't look at the train limits at all. Smart, thank you. Alright, are we just about done loading? This'll do for now, I think. 
Let's go build. Uh, let's go build down here, actually. And hold that position. I don't suppose we already have any energy too, not quite. We're actually only waiting for energy insight, which as I recall was like the slowest thing anyway. There we go. I could actually set it so that we don't keep dumping energy insight into SIG data. Unless there's energy insight in the logistic network. Uh, energy insight greater than half a stack. Cool, so now the energy inside is actually going to find its way over here without the whole science system having to be saturated first. And there's our energy science pack twos. Beautiful. And we actually got eight of them already. Considering we need about 110 or so, uh, that's a good start. Pylon substation. Oh, it also needs... I thought we had Holmium solenoids. Uh, that adds like 50% to how many energy twos we need. It's fine. If you have a station where LTN trains can stop, I think you need to just multiply cargo size of train times train limit plus one. Cargo size of train times train limit plus one. To what are we trying to accomplish? I haven't thought it through entirely, but I was thinking it's probably possible to prioritize LTN picking up over a stop as opposed to the vanilla trains as well. All you'd have to do is reverse it, like set it so that you need at least two train loads of stuff before the vanilla train limit goes above zero. And if it gets to have that much, it means LTN isn't asking for any more. Um, why am I carrying destroyed robots? Alright, we're definitely going to need some scaffolding over here. some scaffolding between them, actually. So we're gonna have full Crail Unloader. Does that actually connect? It looks like it does. We're also gonna need some scaffolding for the train stops. should remove these until we copy paste from blueprint.
If you don't park your train at a depot station, LTN can't take the train. This is true. Alright, let me have a peek at... Oh, I think I didn't actually put it in here, did I? It was in the other save. Let's clean up all of this stuff while we're at it. It's going to take a moment. Let me just grab a drink. Wow, it's still going. I realize we just deleted 3,000 plus uh, signals at the same time. And it's forcing every single train to repath. But, damn. What's in the drink? Just water, I'm afraid. I need to do some shopping. That train network lag, though? Yeah. I think what it's actually doing is repathing every single train on every surface 3,000 times. For some reason. Because otherwise it wouldn't make sense that it takes any longer when we delete multiple uh, signals at the same time. Funny, I don't get those bikes. Are you running a supercomputer? Wow, this is worse than I thought, actually. We can still hear sound and the, move the mouse around with a Factorio mouse cursor. So it probably hasn't crashed. Probably. It's fine. I mean, it, I would have expected it to be, but the longer it takes, the more I'm beginning to doubt. When was our last autosave? Please tell me it was after the spaghetti. I don't think I could take having to do that spaghetti again. <laughs> I have faith. Words on stream round two. That might not be the worst. Oh, there we go. Thank God. Okay. Okay. Let's get rid of all this as well. Don't need to mess with that. Alright, so we've cleaned up our editor extension space. Again. Let's put in our new storage block. And, of course, taking a sweet time. Okay. I think I just want to copy-paste this. Up to orbit. Why is my inventory on the ground? There we go. And it looks like that's a good copy-paste. Except, we don't have the vanilla train stops. Uh, how many do I need? Eight? Uh, Sixteen. I think just eight. Five, six, seven, eight. Astro Science 2 is nearly done. We've finished 16 Energy Science Pack 2s. Cool. It's not going to take that long 
to get our pylons. Use T-junctions and moved away from intersections? A T-junction is an intersection. Manually save just for good measure, that's a good point, thank you. Save time isn't too bad still, even though we've got a few planets that are fully explored. Six pairs of feet, welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. Uh, why is my inventory this full? And apparently I've used up all of the... Uh space rail that the train was carrying, so we'll send it back for now. doop a doop Alright, now for the real slug, Holmium Solenoid. Well, that's the warm-up to the real slug. Uh, I need more... Oh, my, I need my bots active, that would probably help. And I'm not going to wait so long that we get the island substations done before we finish this build. Let's just do that. Is that right? Yeah, that's right doesn't quite look consistent because of the way the wire connections are. Why is this not connected to... Oh, we're missing the combinators. Combinators go here. Not quite right. Back to the editor. Ugh. I'm not loving the downgrade in inventory space compared to... Wait, let's check. Inventory size bonus 30. Inventory size bonus 40. This is actually better. It's just that there's too much stuff in this inventory over here. I think that's why stuff is falling on the ground. No, apparently not. Very strange. Anyway. Let's get our combinators in. Vanilla train stops. You will know them by their combinators. Looks like all that scaffolding isn't necessary, like graphically. Did we connect that in the right place? We did. And one more. All right. What's the first? Thing we want to bring up via train. I guess I could just look at the cargo rocket that brings stuff up and make an adjustment. Have you got the space rail? You do. That's all I really care about right now. And park yourself over here, please. Oh yeah, did we get the uh, auto crafter up here making signals without issue? Uh, looks like we did. Am 
and it's totally bottlenecked on the bots. Disable cargo rocket and start with things that run out. That's a good idea. It's a very good idea. All right. Um... Let's just disconnect this. And it should start taking everything out. And we'll have to recycle all this into the uh, appropriate places later on. Uh, Buvim, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oh yeah, and we need the uh, space equivalent. We need space belts. I think the train has them, actually. Yeah, here we go. Six pairs of feet. Uh, feet. Thank you for the follow. Let's get some belt undergrounds. I don't think we're using any undergrounds here, actually. And this can go here. This can go here. And we're just gonna... Oh yeah, we need a instant combinator over here, don't we? Like to put it in the usual spot. Right. Constant combinator. Actually, let me copy paste it from here just to make it easy. And once again, I have to pick all this up. Never mind the easy part. All right. Copy these two together. And let's review our settings. Provide stack threshold is a train and a half because we're pushing 90 items per second from the back to the front. Actually, come to think of it, I guess we only need half the throughput to push stuff from the back cargo wagon to the front, and it's everything else. Um, and that'll make it easier for this thing not to get out of balance with these settings. Alright, cool. This goes over here. That goes over there. This goes over here, and why don't we copy just belts, uh, and I guess the rail as well. Actually, that doesn't work that well. Get out of here, rail. Okay, so can I do... This looks good, and we'll probably have to flip it over this way. Fantastic. Oh boy, man-made man -made horrors beyond comprehension, indeed. How come science isn't sciencing? Are the labs not requesting the new science packs? Oh, that's a good point, because we know we have a few. Uh, not a whole lot, but a few. Let's request Energy Science 2. Guitar Guru. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oh, here they come. It's just the bots are slow right now. Ooh, we've got 48 already. That's better than expected. That's almost enough to finish Holmium Solenoid. We'll have those pylons in some time. Not no time, but definitely some time. I don't love the way the bulk rail loader, the unloader, sticks out the back like that there. 
just for the aesthetic of it, let's do this. And this. And this. Fantastic. Love Factorio, but sometimes it feels a little stale. Well, there's practically infinite mod stuff available to mess with. Where did the train go? Didn't I set it to, like, passenger present and passenger not present? I guess not. I guess I'll fly back this time. Soon, TM, indeed. He had it at like 45 seconds of inactivity. Oh, really? Oh, it was probably 15. Yeah, 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 I probably just forgot. Alright. It's actually loaded now, except for an amount of space pipe that won't fit. Why are we requesting too much stuff to fit? I'm not convinced we need this many underground space pipes. Uh, underground... Well, either undergrounds, actually. Anyway. Let's head back over. Actually, give me some extra space rail. Actually, my inventory is horrendously full. Um, let me drop a bunch of stuff into the robot network, including but not limited to belts that can't work in space. It's not that big of a deal to leave them up here now that we've got a space elevator. Alright, give me some extra space rail and scaffolding. And park yourself. Um, probably over here, to be honest. Build that other thing. And I'll just use this train as resupply as well. The ingots? No, I definitely need every single one of these ingots. Don't ask. Products finished 12. So we've made still only 48. That'll get us halfway to Holmium Solenoid though. Fantastic. Okay. I kind of want to set up a product to be brought up here. Let's go with... Why don't we go with green circuits to start with? We did that in the example. Alright, so green circuit requester. Um, vanilla stop, and that's it. That's fine. And we're going to request whenever we don't have green circuits in these two containers. Uh, this station is going to be LTN stop, uh, green circuit provider don't need to do anything else. Uh, our train schedule is going to have Pagan up, Green Circuit Requester, wait until empty, and then Hagen down. Oh wait, I forgot the, uh, what's the station called? I haven't actually built it yet. We should probably do that first. Build at least one of these depot stops. 
might be a good idea. Are you making the things to keep the space elevator running, or is that to come? We are indeed. Otherwise I wouldn't be able to use the space elevator. You have to get... If, if it's on Nalvis, you need over a thousand to get started. Uh, we're currently consuming like 3.21 per minute. Um, which is a lot less than we're able to make, in theory. Uh, even accounting for the heavy girder bottleneck. But this this bit of belt right here, I don't think we've had a he heavy girder delivery here yet. I just shoved a bunch of them in manually. Uh, this belt right here has basically not really moved with the amount of... Um, Table that's still here. Nice, indeed. Alright, let's have a look at the editor again, and I want... Um... Oh, we did do a space version of the vanilla depot. I don't have to, like, mess around with this. Except I do need to put in scaffolding... Um, to make it actually place the things. I don't know how much we've got here. 1k plus maybe 1k. And I think this would be like 2 or 3k probably. Well, let's just go for it. It might just take an extra trip or two, it's fine. And I'll just remove the excess scaffolding after we're done. Oh, we're already out? Really? Oh, my inventory. Actually, bots, give it back. Never mind. Let me try placing this blueprint down. And then I'll remove all the extra over here. Might want to stop the train from stealing it back. Um, Alright, train, go back home actually. And our original design is not going to work. Or is it? I can't actually remember if I made the version with the little short space belts. I did, it looks like. Nope, that doesn't quite reach. Okay. So I'm just gonna have to make some minor changes. Apparently there's only like a couple of these belts that don't reach. Okay. Also, that should be space belt. Uh, I did not bring space loader. Whoops. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Tile ghosts be gone. Let's just do a little bit at a time. Okay. I need undergrounds as well. Do you need 
refueled both in space and on the ground. Uh, not that badly, no. But I guess it doesn't hurt. Does this reach? Yes, it does. I need a whole bunch of regular train stops. And while that's crafting, I should probably change this stuff from here so that I can easily paste it in. enough. Uh, thanks, I hate it. I guess that'll do. doesn't reach. And why don't we copy paste this? Oh. Much better. I should just remove all of this for the moment. Except for parts that I absolutely know are the same. Scaffolding. Should probably update the blueprint after this. Then again, I don't know how many times we're gonna have to make this build. That seems okay so far. Is that scaffolding under here? Yeah, it is. Can I remove, yes I can, all of the excess scaffolding? Let's just remove it all and then add some for the next part and so on. Doop a doop, hell yes. Pylon substation is on the way. Why am I so slow? It's weird. Okay. Uh, we'll definitely be needing some scaffolding up here. Let's just fill all of this out and then we'll remove the excess when we're done. This quarter. Okay. 
Okay. Try again. I need more space on the ground belt. Train, please come over here. Wait for me, actually. Can I actually run this thing? No, it's going to remove these tiles where the ghosts are. But as long as it's where we already do have stuff, that should be fine. I don't want the bots from the train picking it up though. Give me all of these undergrounds. And a little bit of this. One of these. Go back home, actually. I'm sure I'll realize I want the train back in a second. I should make a train specifically for scaffolding. Why can't I copy paste? There we go. Alright, so we should be able to remove scaffolding over here. And here. Uh, and not here because there's supposed to be a bulk rail loader. Should definitely be connected to this. Um, I've actually got quite a bit of scaffolding here, so we can probably fill this out. Before we tear it up. Speaking of wires and bulk rail, that should probably be connected. Oh, I was muted. My bad. So we're just testing now to see if the sushi belt is complete. I can't see where the decon planner went to. Um, I don't want to put too much in there, but... I guess these flat solar panels will be easy enough to find. It's not going anywhere. Oh, this one's still not fixed. Well, there's your problem. Bad boy, not so slim. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. 
Didn't leave the first underground, exactly. Um, I keep expecting a substation to be placed when I do this, but I didn't put a bit of scaffolding over here. Here's the problem. Alright, I think that's all the power poles. And we should be able to just do this now. Except I want a little bit of extra over here for the look. Go bots go. Uh, where's our train? Here it is. Yep. We had to build this because I noticed that I didn't give it this stop. Okay, so... It's going to be the same station name after it goes through the space elevator either way. It comes through the space elevator, goes to depot, and then if this station right here is reporting train stop, uh, train limit is not zero, Come to think of it, we've got the depots to prevent the stuttering, so this doesn't need to have multiple trains coming to it at once, does it? I don't think so. Probably don't need the constant combinator there. Oh, it's probably fine either way. Uh, and then? Oh, I've got it going around in circles for no reason. I didn't realize I already had this down here. Should be coming through in a moment. Fantastic. Alright, could you stop for a sec? And after... After going to depot on the ground, I want you to pick up green circuits. But we need to change green circuits a little. Luckily, it's in range of this. Robo network, nice and easy to change. Alright, we're going to have... Provide stack threshold is at least two train loads. Um, and we need to add some... Uh, just a decider combinator, I believe. And we're just going to say green circuits have to be greater than one train load. Uh, 16k. Before we output 1L for train limit. I guess we could use green wire for that. Uh, and set train limit L. Okay. I think that's our only green circuit pickup. Well, it's going to be the only one this train picks up from anyway. So then your next stop is... Circuit... Uh, if I can find it. That's a lot of stations. Green circuit provider. Apparently there are two of them. Wait until... Inventory full. Inventory full. There it is. Full cargo. So come downstairs. Go to depot. Go pick up green circuits. Wait till full... I hope it's not going to go to the other green circuit pickup, wherever that is. Oh, it's down here. 
Hmm. I guess I could just... I'm pretty sure if I arbitrary set a train limit to zero, LTN will still pick up from here. And a vanilla train will not. Okay. So. Come downstairs, go to depot. When train limit is greater than zero, go pick up green circuits. Go upstairs, go to depot. Drop off green circuits. Repeat. Seems good. If the train limit is zero, it breaks because LTN still uses the normal station after the temp stop, at least for my settings. Hmm. Uh, well, we're going to find out. I hope I don't have to set every green circuit pickup to be like this. I probably just should anyway. Basically, it drives there and leaves again because the station is full. Okay. How about we copy paste this and put it over here? I have to manually put that wire there because. Copy-paste doesn't make the wires connect on bulk rail loaders. Alright. Where's our train, I wonder? Dropping off green circuits. Beautiful. And there it is. That's our system. So it should keep repeating this until... When it comes to this station, there are still green circuits in the drop-off section here. Nice soup. And now we just have to start adding more things. And creating an LTN drop-off at our spaghetti. Um, and putting in an LTN depot. And so on. But that's the basic idea. Are you going to limit the loaders in space? Um, what do you mean by limit? I've got the front ones limited to 40 stacks. That'll be 50 stacks when we upgrade our trains. Um... And then we're just pushing all of this to here, to here, to here. And we're not going to have a train drop off here unless it's empty. Yup, that, indeed. Cool, cool, cool. It's a little more work um, per resource, I guess, than... Adding the settings, uh, the requests and stuff to get stuff shoved into this cargo rocket to launch upstairs. But it's really not too bad. Unfortunately, we do need one train at least per resource. Because vanilla trains. So we're going to need quite a few of these. Let's start spamming them. Probably help if we had some fuel here as well. I actually thought you would use the same system as you do with the rocket, but just send trains when they are full. Um, so a train full of a bunch of random stuff? I guess technically you could do that, but like... Ugh... That, that makes me feel yucky. Alright, let's uh, 
Mm, probably shouldn't bring space platform down here. It'll never get put back where it belongs. Uh, let's build out this stuff with it. Um, and as for the space rail, I can just shove it in a chest, honestly. I don't want the bots taking it. Ascendanima, good to see you again. Well, you're welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, I'll just go steal a bunch of a rocket fuel. Fantastic. Up we go. And in it goes. Oh, I need more trains. Let's go back to the mall for a sec. I've run out of fuel. We could have foreseen this coming. Why is there... Hold up. Why is there pyroflux in here? Really? We've actually made so much pyroflux from vulcanite that the pyroflux from core fragment processing, some of it might be getting vented. Um, I do have it set up so that this pyroflux is a much higher priority pickup, right? And then the storage one as well. Where is it? This train stop right here. Yeah, provide priority is even higher here. Okay. So even if this got full, which it kind of is, it's just getting full right now. We shouldn't be wasting any Pyroflux. Alright, seems good. I'm surprised how long that train was unloading the Pyroflux for, though. This is looking pretty full. It looks like we haven't vented any Pyroflux yet. You can tell. Oh, this pump is actually backward. Uh, okay. That never works. It should be like 195,000. If we look back here later on, we'll be able to tell if we have been uh, venting my reflux. Anyway, uh, I've resupplied whatever it was I came here for. Have you guys played Duna Doom Eternal? Is it worth only 10 bucks? Uh, I played the other modern Doom game. I would be very surprised if a successor to that was not worth 10 bucks. Right, let's go through here. And trains, that's what I was looking for. Come to think of it, I really should be adding them down on the ground. That's probably easier. Um, what resource should we bring up next? How about all three types of circuit? We'll do red circuits over here. Uh, hold on. Train limit zero. Perfect. Then I can copy paste the name. And this train won't show up before I can change this. 
Red Circuit Requester, and so on. Red Circuit Provider. Um, and then we basically copy paste this, except change this to Red Circuits. And this to Red Circuits. Uh, wait until empty, wait until full. Let's just double check. We're going up, we're going to this depot, we're going to wait until red circuits are requested down here. We're going to empty, we're going down. Should probably wait for inactivity from the, from the depot. So it can refuel. Let's update. Where's our other train gone? Here it is. Uh, in activity and inactivity. And then we need to set red circuit pickup to work in the same way. How many red circuit builds do I have? It looks like two. One up here. And let's get our construction train to pay those two a visit. And then over here. Should be more than enough. Oh, it needs power. Easily remedied. Not so easily remedied. There we go. And up here as well. I also need to set it to look for red circuits, not green circuits. Fantastic. So LTN won't pick up until there's two train loads of stuff here. Oh, it can't, because we're not allowing this to accumulate. Wasn't expecting something like that. Um, I also need some of this. Seems good. We did set train limit on this. No, we didn't. There we go. Alright, so once again, construction train. If you would kindly go over here and then go over here. This one that I was making red circuits, wasn't I? Alright, let's send it downstairs and see how it goes. Rail blocks, indeed. It's the most organized setup I've seen. Uh, thank you. Beauty poo. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, so once it goes to the depot, it should be heading for red circuit pickup. Fantastic.
And I should be able to have as many trains as I like per resource, as long as we have the depot stops for all the trains. Fantastic. Into the elevator you go. Into the depot, just so that you have somewhere to go right after the elevator every time. And you're going to... Do you not have a path? Do you have inactivity not triggering? What What's going on? Destination full. Oh, because I turned this off. Perfect. That means I can actually disable these stations just by flicking that constant combinator off. I kind of like that. Do you plan to go for a specific space SPM, or is it more of a we'll see approach? More of a we'll see. Definitely liking the look of that. Didn't anticipate the trains just riding up and down the elevator? What do you mean? Pink pajamas, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. Nice. Alright, let's do blue circuits. Uh, I'll turn this off first. Change the name. Turn that back on. And then... Uh, we need the blue circuit pickup on the ground to be updated. I think there's probably only one build for blue circuits so far. Processing units, here it is. Let me just double check. Processing unit in storage. I only see two bulk rail loaders and here they are. Fantastic. That's looking perfect actually. That was like our second iteration on how to do this. Either train size can pick it up thing. Let's just remove that red wire. And we're going to go for 160 stacks before LTN gets involved. Surprised short trains aren't allowed to pick this up. Um, and then we need a combinator. Where's our construction train? Should only need it for five seconds. We need one decider combinator to say if blue circuits is greater than 80 stacks, uh, you can set train limit above zero. Output 1L if blue circuit greater than 80, 100, and set train limit. So now we take our red or green circuit train, copy paste the schedule, change this one to this one, and change this one uh, to processing unit provider. Where is processing unit? Here we go. And wait for full cargo. And that should be our train. It's got fuel, doesn't it? Yep. Alright, go to... Go down to Hagen, please. straight into a depot stop. Uh, 
and straight over to get blue circuits. You have, a, have to imagine that they vertically race up and down the cable, indeed. It's actually pretty easy to add resources to this setup. We do, of course, have to patch out old pickup stations, but that's not that big of a deal. It's going to take a little minute to get here. I just wish I, we could have a camera follow it through the space elevator, like teleport straight to where it is and keep following it. Are all the rocket from not Nalvis to orbit already gone? Uh, I switched them off, if that's what you mean. There is quite a large um, backlog of stuff from those rockets before we need to resupply. That said, I think Pylon substation might have been on 12% a while ago. Maybe it's just slow. Maybe we are actually missing resources. It doesn't look like it. I could just look at the list of stuff that the rocket was requesting and check that all of those haven't run out yet. But it's probably easier if we just let it go for a while. Did I see output full of junk data? Uh, where? This one? We're putting it into the active provider chest. So this is limited because we've already got 50 quantum phenomenon data in the robot network. So it's actually fine. And we are still making a few energy science packs. Fantastic. Oh, energy 2s in particular. Alright, what resource should we do next? Let's mark them off. You know what? Let me just copy-paste this. Keep that there, just in case. But we'll start marking them off of this list. Is a bot coming to build this? Do we not have combinators? We don't have constant combinators. Okay. I might configure the... Uh, Autocrafter, some of the more common things in off stream. It's just a little bit tedious. Alright, so we've done all three types of circuit. Um, I don't want to pick something that's like standalone because we've got this lonely one over here. Oh, let's do. I can't remember what we need needed electronic components for. I know we need it for the spaghetti, but realistically, do we need it like for the future builds? Let's see. Advanced circuit, big portable inner site, solar panel, uh, efficiency module. Gonna be making those on the ground. I mean, we already are. Energy control unit made in a space manufacturing. Perfect. That's all the excuse I need. So, this one right here is going to be electronic components. And we can turn that back on now. Copy paste this schedule, update it. Um, 
component. There it is. Full cargo. And up here. Electronic component. Empty cargo. Um, and I think that's it. Except for updating our output station. Cool, cool, cool. So down to Hagen you go. I think we've only got one electronic component build. So far. Fantastic. Decider Combinator goes here. Construction train goes here. Probably five seconds is enough. Setting up Cloudbot with the mods command, how can I make each mod appear on a new line? Uh, good question. I think it literally has to just, just be one comment. There are other bots that you could use, obviously, but I don't know. Uh, that one seems pretty limited. Did our... Here, here it comes. One message per line is an option. Okay. And then we say components. Uh, stack size 100, so components have to be greater than 80, 100. If so, output L for train limit. I should not connect this here. And set train limit L. And I don't think we need this to be conditional. Uh, if we simply wait until we have a few more components before we summon a train. Seems good. So now we have components. I love how quickly this happens. We're not going to be waiting for ages for shuttles to get enough stuff to, uh, like 500 stacks of stuff to justify a rocket launch. I mean, a spaceship launch, like last playthrough. With a stack size of 100, maybe I should have double... Well, these have 200. Yeah, maybe I should have double for these. Then again, we're doubling the amount that we can push through here. Uh, I could always make this four. Yeah, if this was four belts, it doesn't matter that this is two belts, because this is one cargo wagon and this is another. And then this can be four, and then this can be two belts. So if I really want to, I can double the throughput of this changing the shape of it. Alright, so we've done electronic components. Um, let's go... Do we actually bring blank tech cards up here? Yeah, apparently. I think that went into... I can't remember the name of it. I remember what the icon looks like. Uh, optimization tech card, yes. Okay. I'd like to get a set of similar things that fit here if I can. One, two, three, four. Uh, we could get four types of ingots. Iron, copper, steel, something else. There isn't, like, an ingot version of rare metals, is there? Nope. Which 
probably bring these up as ingots. Just to reduce the cost on the space elevator a little bit. Break them down somewhere else. But if I'm going to do that. I'd kind of like to have a ingot drop-off and both ingot and plate. Hmm. In other words, ingots don't fit beautifully into this layout. Might do a different build for that one. We're sending up rail, is that necessary? Yeah, it's probably more stack efficient. I probably already calculated this compared to stone. And never mind the beams on top of that. Veldek, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, We definitely need ice. We're not doing barrels anymore, we're going to do fluid wagons. Let's do Heat Shield LDS, they very much go together. Okay, um, so here, here maybe? How about these two? Uh, let me turn off those two combinators so I can copy station name and then edit it slightly. Heat Shield... Low density structure. It actually feels weird now that the station name matters. Um, and I can turn those back on. Let's get our construction train to drop off the space belt. Let's not mark it off just yet. Let's actually build these things. I need two more trains. I've actually used my trains up. Uh, one, two, three, four. I can do that right now. But let's go through the space elevator before we do. Maybe I should make one with a default schedule. Do I not have... Con there we go. Let's copy this schedule. And... I'd like to... Give it a couple of fake station names. So like, request a request chest, and vanilla stop, and nothing else. place of this. Wait for empty cargo. And then... There actually are stations with the name uh, Passive Provider and nothing else. What, if, what about this one? Passive Provider and Vanilla Stop. I think that's literally trains with this stop one. Um, why is there a train with that stop? Oh, I changed the name of the existing one. That's why. 
Let's. Okay. That should go down here and be whole cargo. And then stop. This is up here and empty cargo. And that's our example train. That's stations that don't actually exist. Let's upgrade that blueprint or update. Select new contents. Trains only. Mill train with example schedule. Alright, and then we're just gonna change these to a heat shield. Empty and heat shield provider. Uh, and then we want to go to our heat shield bulk rail loaders and set some train limits. Uh, this complicates things slightly because because we're getting them from over here. Hmm. Regardless. Oh, and we've got LDS here as well. Convenient. Get our construction train to drop off those combinators. This unconditional. Limit the front to 40 stacks, that's fine. Connect like so. And output 1L. They have the same stack size, right? Yeah, good. Uh, it's going to be 4,000. 50 times 80? Yep. If heat shield greater than 4K. If LTS greater than 4K, I'll put 1L for train limit. Set train limit. And this train can now get to it. Uh, and now we need to do one for LDS as well. Wait, have I done all the steps upstairs? I think so. Didn't actually give some of these a name, I think. Low density structure provider. Heat shield provider. Processing unit. circuit, regular circuit, and electronic components. Nice. Oh, there's actually... Oh, I see. That makes sense. And here come our heat shields. Beautiful. What would be even more beautiful is if those uh, belts had been built. What are we trying to load here? Loaders. 
Why don't we have loaders? Oh, I think I must have disabled this at some point. Yeah, there we go. That'll get done. In the meanwhile, let's... Get our... Heat shield... Uh, sorry, LDS train done. So we're gonna add... Low dent... Low density structure... Up here. Empty. And this is... Low density structure... There it is. Provider. And wait until full. And that's it. Off you go. It's happening pretty fast. Alright, where are our loaders? We need steel plate. Do we actually not have steel plate here? We've got some on the way. Alright, we have six loaders. Is that enough to fix this? Uh, very almost. We need two more. Come on, steel plate. Which is all getting consumed by this guy. Oh, I see the problem. wonder how that happened. I really do wonder how that happened, actually. Come on, can we just get a little steel plate in here? Bruh. Alright, there's a pretty good chance... It'll get done if I do this now. As long as we're not missing just the two most important uh, loaders on this side. Where's our train? Doesn't exist. Oh, are we sure? There's our heat shield. LDS. Oh, it's waiting for full cargo at the other stop. And something's busted. Okay. Need to set up that in the usual way as well. I don't have any prods on these builds. Should probably do something about that. But right now I'm more interested in seeing everything make its way through the space elevator. Uh oh. Apparently half of this train is fuel empty. Kind of hard to see it. In we go. Drop in in the depot. Destination full? No, that's not right. Beautiful. Uh, we did miss one critical space loader, but we know this is working. 
Fantastic. Alright, so that means we can mark off uh, Heat Shield LDS. I've only got about 30 more things to go. <laughs> Uh, I might take the time to try and do a layout that converts ingots to plate on the spot. It's a little bit different from this one. So plate and ink, uh, plate and ingot will ignore for now. Rare metals we can just drop off directly. Vulcanite block. How about we do Vulcanite and Cryonite next to each other? Like opposites and similar sort of thing. Alright, switch this off. And... And what? Copy-paste this name. Update it. Cryonite. Rod. Vulcanite. We need two more trains. I don't think I have them on me. Let's go get some more. Definitely have to send coal up, I think. I could just put our new train here. Might be a little easier. Can we do cry night first? I guess another way to prioritize the vanilla trains is to just let them go to the station even if it doesn't have a full pickup. Oh, this is one of them. What the hell? Hold on, what's going on here? There's no advanced circuits. Well, that's a lie. It's probably because we're throwing all of our advanced circuits into space at the moment. And we need a bunch more before LTN recognizes them. Um, anyway, what was I doing? Cryonite rods. That one's already done. And... Rod. This goes here. Empty. Full. Full or full, yes. Perfect. No notes. Uh, and that should pretty much do it. Um, how many Crynite Rod pickups do we have? We have this many. Perfect. Let's do the usual. Come to think of it, uh, I think we dropped off some combinators, but I didn't actually configure them yet. Here they are. Output 1L if LDS greater than 4000. And set train limit L. Fantastic. So that being the case, how did... Oh. Okay. Because we're pushing too much to the front.
Maybe I should set that higher. How much is this? 2.1k. So if I set it to like 10k, it should be okay. Brain load and a quarter or so. I'm more concerned that we don't have advanced circuits, but I know that's going to work itself out. Uh, anyway, let's continue with this. And maybe I should do that for the look of it as well. That's much nicer. Alright, train limit 1 if Cryonite Rod is greater than... Let's set it to like 120 stacks. A train load and a half. Oh, this is different. This is the old way. That doesn't let us pick it up with short trains. Let's fix it. than a train load for the whole thing. That's fine. Limit this to 40 stacks. Another thing I could do is limit it to less than an actual cargo wagon in the front. And that would reduce the... how large I have to set this to make sure it works. Anyway, 80, 100 stacks, let's make it a train load and a half, actually. And set train limit one. Fantastic. Oh, and provide stack threshold for LTN is two whole train loads. Dardano, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Moving away from LTN, only insofar as I have to do that in order to have trains go through the space elevator. Okay, so where's our train? I think I already moved it. Did we get any Crynite rods here? Not yet. Um, there you are. So you're looking for... This thing. Oh, I think I didn't turn this back on yet. There we go. Just built my first one yesterday, haven't done anything with it yet. Fantastic. Is the wear on the space elevator determined over time, or is it per train running through it? Both, but mostly over time, unless you're running a lot of trains through it. Uh, here are the stats right there. Per minute, it costs us 3.2146 uh, space elevator cables. And on top of that, it costs 0 0.0005 times 5 plus the number of item stacks whenever a train goes down. And it costs a bit more than 5 times that when it comes up. So a full train coming up the space elevator costs... Um... 0.23. So we would need to have 3.2146 divided by 0.23. We would have to have 14 trains going up the space elevator, not counting trains going down the space elevator, um, per minute 
to double the cost of the space elevator. The upkeep, that is. Now I'm curious if the maintenance costs goes down after a while. I don't imagine it would. Let's do Vulcanite blocks next. Let's get our blueprint. Throw a train in here. And fly over to Vulcanite block pickup. Still cheaper than an entire rocket, I would assume. Yeah. Of course, you are a little bit incentivized to use bigger trains. But it's not that big of a deal. I guess you could compare it based on... Um, uh, if you had 12 cargo wagons on a train, compare the cost of sending that up in cables to a whole cargo rocket. Probably going to come out ahead. And probably still going to come out a lot ahead. Even with the smallest trains available. Wow, that's a lot of Vulcanite blocks. I love it. Hell yes. It's not quite saturated yet, but it is getting there. Alright. Let's abandon our old methods here. And put in some decider combinators. And decider combinators. We're gonna say train limit is one. If there's stack size two hundred, uh, twenty four k. If there's 24k Vulcanite blocks, allow a vanilla train to come by. If there's two whole train loads of Vulcanite blocks, allow an LTN train. And then we just need to do our schedule for this guy. Vulcanite block. And Vulcanite block. Wait until full. Wait until empty. And off you go. Research stuck? Could be. I wouldn't be shocked considering we stopped sending uh, cargo rockets up. Although we did have like 500 stacks of almost every resource um, that does go into the research. Do we not have rare metals? We still have rare metals. I'm pretty sure it's just slow still. It'll get faster after I separate these, um, these two robot networks here. They can have 50 Logibots each, and they don't have to travel anywhere near as far. Oh hey, here's our train. Let's ride the elevator. Fantastic. At least add the refurbished destroyed bot recipe. I'll get to it. Um, did I not activate this yet? There it is. Fantastic. So that is cryonite and vulcanite. In the space. And it's also the last of this block right here. Uh, we're going to have to build another one. Alright, so... Green circuit. 
Red circuit. Blue circuit. Uh, components. And then we've got heat shield LDS. What the? I think it just teleported me to another surface, that's why. Low density structure. Cryonite. It's a lot neater with uh, more detail on this icon. And a Vulcanite block. Beautiful. So you use a vanilla train schedule to bring components up the elevator and LTN to distribute it after that, yes. Correct. And we should probably start doing some fluids. Um... I wish I could see a graph of all of these things compared to uh, how much of it is in LTN. So I could see which one is getting closest to running out. Cryonite rods. Surprisingly... Surprisingly, it looks like we're not bringing cryonite rods up here. Oh well. That one's done ahead of time, I suppose. So yeah, we need a whole other build. I think I'll just copy this one. Um... And we'll do these around the depot. Are these bots okay that are carrying stuff from that active provider chest next to the landing pad? Yeah, they're a bit slow, that's all. Although, come to think of it... Oh. Oh, I forgot to put an exception in here. Wait, why is concrete cycling? 1.4 gig... Wait, wait a second... <laughs> That's a lot of concrete that's being requested over here. There should be the contents of this times negative a million goes to here so that we're not trying to bounce things up and down through here. Why is concrete the exception? What are we outputting? We're outputting positive concrete. Did it like roll around from negative to positive? Is that what's happening? Because I put a bunch of concrete in here? The number is drastically reducing now. 400 million, 300 million, 100 and... it's kind of stalled. 176 million... That is so weird. Does anyone know the name of that? Where if you actually go over max int, it rolls back to minimum int? Probably have a wire misplaced? I don't though. And it's working with every other resource. Look at this. Uh, we've got 100 pipe in here, so it's outputting negative 100 million pipe, therefore this request to chest is not requesting pipe. Overflow, yeah. Integer overflow. Um, I guess I could just be a little less aggressive with this. There we go, 10,000. Fantastic. That's getting itself sorted out now.
All right. Have we been making any space cable? No. How much have we got left? About 7.2k. I'm getting a little bit concerned. Um, that we're not going to get iridium uh, heavy girders made. We're prioritizing ingots. Um, those are probably getting sent to space. There's no ingots here, actually. Are we requesting? I should probably just turn all of these off now. We are requesting ingots. I'm very surprised there's zero ingots here, actually. Uh, iridium ingots, to be precise. But yeah, we'll stop requesting at this place like I should have done ages ago. Uh, we do have our train load of ingots available here. We are turning them into plate. I wonder where the plate is going. Iridium plate. Uh, it's going to... Probably bearings, maybe? It's pretty much nowhere else. Except for the mall, but I don't think the mall is building anything um, that takes a lot of iridium. These have the same priority, right? We're looking for 6.4k plate over here, and 6.4k plate over here. Hmm. Maybe I should lower the priority on bearings? Or increase girders. I think I will just increase girders because I remember needing girders a lot and uh, bearings not so much. Also we've still got... oh bearings depend on girders. So it's practically already a higher priority to make girders. Um, Let's just crank up the priority for this one. Very, very important that we do... Huh? That's the wrong station, you absolute derp. This one. Uh, very, very important. What the... Priority. Very, very important that we do not run out of cable. Bonk indeed. Alright, so request priority 100. Or space elevator cable. Oh, it's actually saturated. Oh, we do have girders now. When did this happen? I don't care. It's good. It's fine. So I'm not even the slightest bit worried about space elevator cables now. Fantastic. Alright. Let's have a look over here. Let's get a construction train. Still looking for space loaders. Let's just drop that a little bit for the moment. It would be a very complicated system to tell it... Well, maybe not actually. Hmm. Could I get it to check for anything that we've got zero of that's in this list? I can't read contents of this chest, though. So we'd have to, like, wait for inactivity or something. I was trying to figure out a way where we could just skip a resource if there isn't any available. Um, but it's harder said than done. We really probably don't need that many underground pipes, usually. Alright, let's just get our train down here. For the moment. Got 
got factory search mode set to a button. Nice. Many UI windows have a search button. Yeah. They really do. Okay. I don't think we're ever going to have a problem keeping the spellvader going, even now. Uh, which resource were we going to bring up next? I don't know, but I'd like to group some stuff together. I'm pretty sure sulfur... Whoops. Sulfur goes into a few things up here. Thermofluid. There's the alternate recipes for thermofluid, I think, but still. Vitalic epoxy. That can be made on the ground. Um... Is there not a reason to bring sulfur up here? I thought it went into science or something. Is it just thermofluid? Thermofluid. Coolant. There we go. Um, let's see. How to make thermofluid. There's way too many recipes that output it. Uh, different way of looking at it. I'm pretty sure it's only the space manufacturing that makes um, oh, fluid. No? How are we making thermofluid? This thing. Okay, do we have one spare? So I can look at the recipe? Without scrolling through 50 different recipes. We do. Thermofluid. Uh, both recipes do need sulfur. And we do have to make that in space. Alright, cool. So there's definitely a reason to bring up sulfur. Um... I could put emesite crystal next to it, just because they look similar. I would look via the science screen. Science screen. I'm not really seeing it. I guess you could do it like that, yeah. How built is this block? Not at all. Let's get our blueprint. Wait, did I update the blueprint? Uh... I know a couple of steps I can take to make it happen. Alright, let's go... Blueprint this. Grab tiles only. Maybe grab rail as well, just so we can s put it in the right spot. And then grab our blueprint. Oh, we need more scaffolding. Wait, it hasn't placed any scaffolding. Enchapa, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Why does it have no scaffolding? Scaffolding, 3.1k. We've got it here. I don't understand. 
Hmm. Maybe I'll go lend a hand. It's just about time to finish up for today anyway. I think this is a good start though. We've got uh, eight different resources being brought up through the space elevator, and it's not too difficult to add more. And we can control nope. pretty deliberately which, like, how often trains go through there. Are you noping me for finishing the stream, Veldak? No, I'm sure you would never do something like that. You have already visited Orbit more times today than you did before combined? Yeah, you're probably right. I would never? Alright, good to know. Never ever, yes. Um, I think we've probably got some more room in this train. What are you looking for? Two by? Did I turn all of this off earlier? Oh, I never added it, that's why. Um... You can just stop asking for those for now. Oh no, it's happening with everything. Okay, I have a bit of a tedious process ahead of me of setting all the requests and prerequisite requests and stuff for the auto crafter. Um, but for now, let's see who is playing Factorio. JD plays? It's been a minute since we dropped in on them. I see no SE and or K2. So let's do that. What does it cost to lift a train? Um, about this much. Um, right there. 5 plus number of item stacks times 0 0.027 uh, cables per train, and a lot less to go back down. So you'd need about, uh, I think like 18 to 20, or was it 40-ish? We did the math earlier. You'd need a lot of trains going up in one minute, probably faster than you could squeeze them through, um, for it to double the maintenance cost. Not much at all? Yeah, pretty much. It's different per planet too, yes. It was over a thousand on our test Nalvis uh, to get the parts to start the space elevator working. It was only 762 for this one. Robot Wars, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, before I go real quick, I just remembered uh, someone wanted their name next to the spell evader. Uh, let's check. It was Meloxel. Fantastic. And it looks like we've got some others that snuck in. Oh no, that was character pool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This will be Meloxel's uh, name in base. And I'm sure that's going to start a trend, so I'll set up something. Okay, guys, we got to die more. There we go. Chat helps. That's so much crap. Like a ball. 